Yo, what's good, everybody, man? Hold on a second, bro. Your boy getting situated, man. I'm just waiting for a special guest coming through. You already know. Appreciate everybody putting up in the building, man. Oh, we got a donation already, man. Screw it. Hey, we love what you're doing, bro. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I really do, bro. Hold on a second, man. All right, all right, all right. My checker, my checker. Oh, we good, bro. We good, man. What's good, y'all? What's good, everybody, man? How's everybody Saturday doing, man? Mine uh, is doing pretty well. You know, got my day going, took care of a lot of things that I needed to take care of, man. But shout out to everybody, man. We got screws and texts in the building. I'm Gucci. We got Danielle Blake in the building. We got Swoorship in the building, man. Breezy, man. What's good, everybody? What's good, man? I hope you guys had a good day, man. I really do. Um, yeah. Oh, you watching it, Danielle? Yeah. Real sad, bro. It's crazy, man. That that show put me um, on a different type of mindset, bro. Definitely a different type of mindset. Um but we'll get into that, man. We'll get into that. I just uh just give me a few minutes, well about a minute or two, and we'll 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 get it popping, bro. We'll get it popping. Hold on, I just want to make sure everything's situated over here, man. In my end, bro. What's good, lost boy, man? I haven't seen you in a minute, bro. What's good, brother? So we got Mister Henny in the building, man. Your boy's gonna be taking some shots today uh first shot of the night we got angel in the building man first shot of the night is for my own man salute to my own man for everybody that was wondering and that's hit me up he's doing better he's back he's back home already so uh my old man had a slight uh slight um doctors are saying that he had a um, like a minor stroke real like he barely he barely felt it oh hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up bam yo 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 hey bam <laughs> what's good he was good man what's good what's good bro we got mars in the building man but yeah, man, I was saying that my old man, he uh he had a, a minor stroke and he barely felt it. Damn. But he felt he yeah, he felt really bad. So he had to go to the hospital. So I, you know, I had to take care of some situations and stuff like that. You know, I wasn't feeling it, but uh, you know, I was able to put out a vlog today. And and the reason why is because of y'all, man, the people that support the channel, bro, like kept me going strong because I was kind of like weak minded, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what to think of. Because, you know, I was just thinking the worst, you feel me? So it was something that a lot of people hit me up and uh, like F Chris and uh, another Chris hit me up too as well. Like, you know, they caught on it. They caught on it on the video. M Satello, you know, a lot of people caught it on the video and they mentioned it in the comment section. So they, you know, I, fi I figured they relate. Somebody will relate. You know what I mean? So it was pretty dope. Yo, yo. Out. So, tops. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if you cool with like saying, but how old your dad? Would you be able to say that? I believe my dad is seventy two, or he's gonna be seventy three. Damn, I know listen, but listen, Hispanics is known to go strong, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and my dad is cars a cars out this bitch. Yeah, my dad's a smoker. He's a drinker. You know what yeah, I'm saying? He, 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 end, bro. Yeah, you know. You know I He's, love it. I love it. Listen, I hope at 77 I'm chugging them and and not giving a fuck and still giving motherfuckers hell. <laughs> yeah, you know, I told him like, bro, stop smoking them cigarettes and shit. He's like, bro, I'm gonna try, yeah. bro. But you know, I'm I'm seeing my days are numbered, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hitting 73, 72 is a good, but my dad has been through a lot. He lost his mom and shit like that. My grandma, he lost yeah. his brother too, as well. 
um i don't want to go too much into details but a couple years back i want to say 18 years ago my dad had to deal with some like manslaughter type shit uh one of his oh, brothers got, snap got around? killed yeah my one of my uncles got chopped up and shit like that got put in front of our house in a box and shit crazy story bro but i don't want to get Yo, into it cause, what <laughs> Yo, yeah bro. Tough, you shouldn't even gave us that amount, bro. Now you got, bro, you know I'm going to hit you behind the scenes like, Papa, I need that story, okay? Like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, Damn, bro. For real, for real? Yeah, man, so. Yo, what nationality are you, Tops? Cuban, bro. Cuban, so, Cuban. so I have uncles that are affiliated with the mafia and back in Las Vegas, and a bad deal happened. He came back to Miami, and they found him. And then they chopped him up, and to set up a message, they put him in front of my own man's crib, and they're like, yo, my dad was like, yo, what the hell is this? You know, so that kind of screwed up yeah. the old man a little bit. So, you know, my dad's been through a lot, bro, as a, as I was growing up and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, drive by because I lived in the, in, in the ghetto in Miami. Damn. Shout out. Shout out to Hialeah Housing, um, the west side of Hialeah. And yeah, man, drive by. He gets shot in the neck, bullet comes out of the other side, and he survived it. You know what I'm saying? So my dad's been through a lot, bro, and uh that a lot of people don't know. But I don't mind opening wow. up so that like, that people know where I, where I come from yeah. and why. Because of my own man, I became the man who I am today. So shout out to my dad. So that's why I felt for him when he when he got sick. I never saw. I never pictured that happening. You feel me? So yeah. uh, when I got that's the crazy. news, I was like. When I got the news, I was like, it hit me. It hit me hard. I thought it would never hit me, bro. Like, I thought about it. Like, hey, what if my mom, what if my dad? Hey, I never thought it was going to hit me like that. So it is what it is. He's doing good, you know. And, you know, he's just recovering, doing his thing. That's what's uh, up, man. Yeah, man. I wish him the best, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, sc sc screws. That's what he's dealing with right now. The yeah. high blood, high blood pressure right now. The high blood pressure is, is is staying a little high, so they kept him a couple of days in the hospital and stuff like that. So, yeah, facts. That's crazy, bro. Shout out to Daniel Blake, man. Yo, relentless one, man. Salutes, man. I appreciate the love, but nah, bro. We showing love to tops tonight, man. All yeah, right. man. Uh, keep the fuck shit in the minimum, bro. Um, if possible. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> You know that shit ain't gonna happen, bro. Come on, man. You know that shit ain't gonna happen. Let them boys run amok, man. You know what I'm saying? Let them run amok. Yeah, you know I mean, we we gonna do what we do up here. And <laughs> look, I know, I know. People see, uh, people don't see eye to eye with everybody, bro. And then people need to understand that this is YouTube, dog. Like, like a lot of the shit that goes down is uh. It's not necessary you know what i'm saying like but it's, whatever it's it is really not it's really not necessary but you have to admit for the people that do watch it is entertaining you know what i'm saying and you know some of us commit to the entertainment you know what i mean yeah but at the end of the day bro uh once you guys meet meet zaya you guys will think he's you know the fuck the fuck niggas you guys think he is he's not really a fuck nigga bro <laughs> Just take the time to uh, know. Although, him, although I like to carry myself as just a real fuck boy, uh, <laughs> no, bro, I'm not. I'm not a fuck boy at all, man. Like, regardless, listen. At the end of the day, bro, like, not everybody gonna like each other, man. Like, I guess, I guess I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't really be giving a fuck. Like, I let, I let the energy do it. You know what I'm saying? If I gravitate towards somebody and we good, then we good. Like, you know, tops will tell you. But if I grab, yeah. I don't gravitate towards you and we just not good, then. Like there's there's no reason to force the issue. Life's short, bro. Like I'm not trying to force the issue with people that don't like me. Like if you don't like me, stay like that, or develop a way to like me, or you know I don't I don't really give a damn. Yeah, yeah. and I don't really take shit personal. So when you do when you develop the you when you develop the likeness, if you thought I was a fuck boy in in the past, then that's perfectly fine. That's okay, bro. Ain't ain't crying over no spilled milk. But shit, if you don't like them all fucking and shit, so be it, man. Earth's too big. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, I I've learned, you know, for multiple from multiple people. You know, looking at you, I see how Tony D moves. I see how Bull Bull moves. I see how certain people move, and I see, and you know, I look at their comments in their video, man. And sometimes they get bashed, bro. And then it's like <laughs> if it was nothing, you know what I mean? Yo, so, it, uh, yeah, it's funny too because I'll be looking at some of mine, 
and shit, motherfuckers be bashing my shit hard body, bro. Like, yo, it's crazy too. Now I'm I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like, so I'm experiencing the obviously the uh, the 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 transition from uh, old account to new account, right? Yeah, and, uh, I ain't even gonna front like on the old on the old YouTube page. Like they didn't even cycle the comments like that. So there's a lot of people that send me comments now and YouTube flags they shit. For real. Yeah. So if you look at it, I don't know if you got this app on your phone. I use uh let me see. YouTube Studios. YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio still gives yeah, they'll you put the scans. Person. Yeah. And then if you click on it and YouTube got rid of it, it goes all gray. Gray. Yeah. So I'm like, oh shit, YouTube got rid of that shit. Let me tell you something. I got I got worse hate when I was on my old thing. Like YouTube didn't give a fuck about a motherfucker, bro. They was sending everything through. Motherfuckers, <laughs> motherfuckers would send me all types of crazy comments, and I just be like, "Yo, y'all wildin'. Yeah, I know. I know. Me and you talked about it, but I know you kind of feel good about you know starting all over again and you know seeing how far you can go now with the new with the new channel. I've always um, I've always been intrigued to know if you know like how would that you know it's been ten years like. You know, the other day, I forgot who was it. Oh, I think it was Troll that asked me. He asked me, do I remember, you know, reaching a certain milestone on the channel in the very beginning? And I'm just like, that's the sad part. I don't, bro. Like, video after videos after videos later, like, you almost forget, like, that come up when you first started. Yeah. And, you know, I see a lot of y'all do it, you know what I'm saying? And y'all grinding on the come up and shit like that. And bro it yeah. is hard bro it is it like is. i see y'all doing it like and i've i've been seeing y'all doing it and it's kind of i don't know it's kind of a humbling experience almost in a way it is a challenge and it was yeah. a challenge yeah. that i was very very happy to uh to you know go over that milestone and the way the channel is moving right now oh my that's god up, like, i've never seen it move it like the way it's moving right now Shout out to everybody that has been fucking with the content and shit like that. So hold on, let me shout out a few people. We got Alexander the building, I guess Relent relentless one. <laughs> yeah, he's hey, just to <laughs> let you know, man. I asked Zaya to come on. So you know what I'm saying? And plus, because I wanted to talk about this documentary that well, he hold put on, hold on. on. Tops, keep it honest. So I listen, I told Tops like yo, I I think I could go live. And he was like, man, fuck that little ass channel, man. Come <laughs> hop on a real channel, bro. I was like, all right, no doubt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, oh, I just set it up right there. We got Insatel in the building. We got JD in the building, man. Uh, Gutter Rican Kicks was good, Poppy. Uh, Henry, we got Mr. Mr. 83 in the building, man. I salute to everybody that's been putting up, man. I appreciate you guys, as always, bro. Uh Please don't forget to hit that like button um, as well. And if you're new here and you just catching the live, hit that subscribe button. Because, you know, every time your boy drops a banger like this one, you guys will be notified to watch when you hit that notification bell too as well. And we also had Jay for, uh, Hernandez just pulled up, man. Uh, but, yeah, man, today the Jordan 1 Pine Greens 2.0, a.k.a. Pine Green situation, mm. has dropped. Um, so I wanted to get a... a a uh, piece of everybody's mind to see what did they cop? Is it something that they they are passing on? Did they see it sitting in their local Foot Lockers or wherever? Because it was the first Jordan One to get a first come first serve. Is that the first Jordan One to get a first come first serve? Yep. You sure there's no been there hasn't been no other Jordan Ones that have at least at least in the past couple of years. Mm. Since they've been doing the reservation, uh, to me, that's the first one that I can recall. Yeah, so did they did they sell out or did they? Are well, they gone? In my, in my end, they're gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They sold out I heard people had them like in their got, in their areas. I got them in the Remember, I got the early oh, did you really? Yeah. What size did you get? My size, I think about nine and a half. Uh, yeah, I passed on it, bro. Dude hit me this morning and asked me, "Yo, you gonna hit? You gonna go for it?" And I was like, "Nah." What's it called? The shoes, dope, man. The the leather quality to me is a one. Is probably one of the top Jordan ones to come out. The UNC to Chicago is like the second. Like it falls to me right behind it. I really dig the 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 tumble leather on it. A lot of people are saying it's too much. To me, I think it's just right because it's just only on the green panels of the shoe. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
So it, it's a dope sneaker. You got Jules hasn't got her pair in yet. Mm-mm. No. I didn't get them. They sold out. Well, she didn't get her size. She got another pair when they sent you the uh, the, the early release. Yeah, I, I passed on both them joints because I had the early release thing too. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't bother to go for. Them. I got a cut. I got a cut back, bro. I, I just didn't want to grab it. I, I feel like it's a shoe that it'll eventually it'll go up in value, but I feel like it's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit. It actually kind of fluctuated a little bit today. So like on go, it dropped down to like one ninety eight to two ten in my size. Yeah, as some size vary to two twenty five, but um, I figured I caught the thirteen. I got a second pair, and I'm willing to give it out for retail for whoever you know whoever fucks with me. You're a and you're they, a size thirteen. Yeah, I'm a size thirteen, and they, if they want it for retail and like whatever I pay for it with the taxes and everything, shit. I even got a comment on IG because I kind of like changed my mind. I was selling it for two twenty, and I changed my mind, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. I saw a lot of people taking L's that I fuck with, and I just put it out there to see whoever wants it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just I I would like to get my money back at the end of the day. Like I could sell it and make a thirty dollar profit on it. You know, after the fees and everything, but I rather just help somebody out and. For them to uh to uh and plus you, know, you, already, get the you, you, you already got your pair yeah i already got my pair hold on i'm gonna wrench up jewels real quick holla <laughs> you gonna hit him with a holla man holla jeez yeah man so so i got my early pair and then i got one from hibbits So, got my early pair here and my Hibbits pair here. So, whoever wants it, receipt and everything, out the door. But the shoe is dope, bro. Like, real talk, like the tumble. Like, I wore it today. I undies them today and, like, they crease just like the OGs. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, the leather the leather is, like, really good. I like the leather. You know what I'm saying? The, the back leather. It's fucking dope. I don't know why. I just I don't know. As much as I love SBs and SB highs, bro, I just cannot gravitate to Jordan ones. I just got it. I just it's, I don't know. It just doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, them shoes are so dope. I think the green is just so fucking dope on these. Yeah, the green is super dope. I actually like this one than the first uh, uh, pine greens. Damn. And the reason why is because to me the first pine green is boring. Versus there's something to, like, if you have this sneaker in hand, you actually can see some type of detail in it. Like the Wings logo. Like the, the Wings logo is the is a patch. You know what I'm saying? Like there's actual detail. I felt like the shoe was worth the $170, you know? So it's it's pretty dope, man. I like I like what they did to it. The idea so that, of the, 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 the black portion of it, that leather is really, is that leather soft? It's soft to me, bro. It's soft everywhere. Damn. It's Damn, soft that, everywhere. Yeah, I, I can't find it. Actually, look. Well, you'll see the one I got. Yeah. The reason, the reason why the the back heel is because you know they put that piece of carton back yeah. here. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why I feel like it's not soft, but the leather is soft everywhere else. You know what I mean? So it's pretty dope, and also too as well, you got that leather touch on the tongue, which is nice. I like that. You know. Yeah. You know what? It, it's kind of weird. Again, I don't fuck with Jordan ones, but the other day I was going through the shoes and shit, and I'm considering keeping them <laughs> shattered backwards, bro. Which in the three point oh's? Yeah. I don't know about those, man. I I I'm, I'm why, happy, bro. I don't. It, it it's a greasier than a motherfucker, but I don't know. It's just something about them. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of them. I don't want to. They're but not is- in the zone of me getting rid of them. Don't make me go to my truck and get my UV light. Oh shit! Just these, <laughs> these, these motherfuckers want me. I authenticate the shoes. Hey, hold it, hold the chat down for me. Hold Do on, it. I'll be right back. Do it, bro. Uh, Who we got, man? Who we got up in here? Shout to Daniel Blake, man. Let me see. Was popping. Oh shit! Retro in the building. Salute to Retro Young. Was good. Uh. Damn, Daniel Blake. So you scored on four four pairs total? He sold his pair, but still got three. It, I don't think it was necessarily a hard cop, though. Like, it, 
Was it a hard comp? Yeah, but it was just size. Your size sold out, and you still was able to go back and grab a size. Everything sold out. Oh shit! Shit. Uh, Let me see. Let me see. Mash it. I need some shits. If anybody can get them shits, hug. Damn, I don't wanna. I don't wanna do all that. Please say we are sad. Yeah, I need plastic, bro. My fucking lips burn. You got them burn lips. This fucking weather got my shit all fucked up. Oh shit! Almost busting my ass, bro. Yo, these shits right here, though. These shits right here, though. These shits are serious, man. You know what it is? I like orange, man. I'm a huge fan of orange. Yeah, oh my god! And I don't, yo. I think I need to get another pair because I think, in all honesty, this is gonna be the only Jordan one I keep, and I wouldn't mind matting this out. Matt Black, Matt Black, this joint out. How are you doing? They gotta do something to it. They gotta where they could take all this shit off. These shits is just too clean, man. I'm sorry. All right? It's just a clean-ass shoe, bro. And I'm feeling more and more all that greasiness, bro. That shit look greasier than a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not I don't think I'm getting rid of these. And... I don't think I'd fuck with the orange laces, though. I don't think I, I... For me, it'd be too much orange. I don't know. Ever since I got these, bro, it's been like a little... A little like... No, that's why. I'm like iffy, because I know I don't like Jordan 1s. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't like Jordan 1s. And I, I, I'm, I'm going to piss myself off. I already know what's going to happen. I'm going to end up wearing them. I'm not going to like how they feel on my foot. And then I'm going to be tight that I even did that. You know what I'm saying? So what are you gonna do? I don't know, bro. This is the uh, life of a fucking shoehead. You 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 fall oh. in love with all the shit, and then you gotta fall un in love because something else will come that'll make me fall in love with it. So this is my uh, uh, early pair, right? Uh oh. So the 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 stitching on the midsole is the only one that reacts to the light. Okay. I'm gonna keep the shoe up here now. Look up here, so you guys don't see that I'm grabbing. Don't be. Right. We don't need all no right. tricks, all right? We don't need no tricks. Leave it right where all we right. can see it, Papa. Right, right where we can see it. Right there, right? You guys right. see it? Yeah. This is my early pair box, right? Shoes missing. All right. Yeah. All right. These are not DS. I wore these today. All right. Yeah. Well, they look DS, but because I yeah. take care of my shoes. Yo, shout out to Henry. Yeah, cream laces would be fucking... Yo, Henry, that's a good one, bro. All right, let's look at the tag. I don't know if y'all can see it, see it there, but the tag... Tag is Gucci, right? All right. So it's going to go up here. Look, on top of the red box right here. Yo, Henry, you ain't lying, bro. The, the lace has got to be this color, though. The color of the outro. And that shit will fucking kill this sneaker right here. Hey, it's sports. Mm, okay. Oh, shit, no tag. Ah, boy, boy. <laughs> right. No, no, Chinese, no Chinese stamp. <laughs> no Chinese stamp right there. Receipt gang on let I and I got receipts for that too as well. I just paid over retail for that one. That's all. I'm good to take KFC ones. Come on, bro. Ba look, 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 check it out. Yeah, that's just clean. Not for nothing. Them shits actually would look pretty dope with them red laces in them. The stitching glows, my guy. No foo-foos over here, bro. So all that information you're getting. Where are we getting the information from? It is false. Shout out to Mr. Fuck You All Up, man. Salutes, man. 
so yeah man definitely um yeah bro i, I have a legit source um i'll definitely if anybody needs a, a early sneaker and they get it from me then then you must have a fake pair bro because mm. that one's from hibbit sports and that one's from my from my plug which is another retail store i can't say the name online Yo, freaking uh, across the water, probably going crazy with them shits already, bro. Uh, Super Duper Rupert did a review on them. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah. Let me tell you something, bro. Like, I hate. I don't know, bro. Like, I hate to sound like a dick, man, but it's like with all that coronavirus, bro. I'm not ordering shit from over there, bro. Fuck a review. Fuck any of them shoes. Fuck all that. Yeah, I ain't, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna front though, like. I might take a little coronavirus scare if I could get them Travis Scotts. Because <laughs> now it struck hella out today. Was it called? Now they're talking about that shoe right there. It did not come as tumble as the retail pair, at least his, from what I saw. Which one? The uh, Pine Greens. The, oh, really? Yeah, the UA pair did not come as tumble as this shoe came. This shoe is super tumble. Even the black is tumble. Somewhat of a tumble. The uh reach the across the water joint was very flat. And barely any tumble on the on the on like on the swoosh or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, it was kind of off. Like you could tell because he had a retail pair and a and a, uh the cross the water pair. <clears throat> Yeah, they've had them for a couple of weeks now, but uh, basically that that shoe that shoe is gonna be harder to get right. They're gonna take a little minute to get right. If that wasn't a limited exclusive shoe, oh yeah, you gotta be careful. But there's so many pairs out there of these uh these pine greens. They're everywhere. Tops them green, uh, them cream off white fours, bro. Fire. Wait, but how does that how, listen? How does that end up working for you if you're a size 13? Do them shoes even come that big for women? If they come, if they come in extended sizes, I believe it's they 14, be and a, 14 and a half is mine. 14 so, and a half. What the hell? So this is a 14 and a half. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever seen that before, bro. I, I've never seen a 14 and a half, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So this shoe is fire, G. They Jordan Brand killed this shoe too as well. That's wild. I I love that shoe. Now one thing I'm gonna tell you guys is my threes. No no bo no stamps no stickers inside the box. Comes with one sheet of paper, which is the uh, elephant print paper. And these shits are fired. I this is to me, yeah, these is sneaker. They, it, this is gonna be my top sneaker of the year. One of them is gonna be in that top ten video for sure. The how they did the uh, the tongue pause is fucking fire. That tongue is fire. They did a real good job on the tongue. We got my boy the vintage world in the building. Yo, them uh, them uh. Them red threes, though, bro. Like red threes popping, man. Yeah, they popping, but they 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 lacking on the material, bro. I I like them, bro. I got them. I like them. That pass. I will become an authenticator, bro. Hey, hold on, yo yo, Taz. Did you pass on these? No, I got them too. Oh, you got them, bro. In my opinion, like. This is going to sound crazy, but, bro, this is about the closest I'm going to get to a Dornbecker pair. I've always, so? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Listen, I've, I've been on a Dornbecker 3 hunt for a minute. At one point in time, I had two pairs, and I let them shits go, and I've been on a hunt for them ever since, and the price just steadily keeps going up, and the problem is, is that outsole that is just mad yellow. I'm not fond of like that yellowish outsole type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, 
I would I would give up it being a Dornbecker to look at this one and know that my bottom is like just white, just just a regular bottom. You bottom. Know? Yeah, I don't I don't like that whole yellow piss look on the bottom of the Dornbecker threes. That's the only thing that's always killed me about them. That I'm like at this point, like it's almost impossible to not get them yellowed. So fuck Yo, that, bro. I, I, and I'm gonna double up on these because these are going down in price, bro. Nah, you you could probably still get them at the store. I don't want them at the fucking store, bro. Yeah, I, like I, my plug is getting another restock. They got an email. Yeah, but I don't want to pay one ninety for this. You want it cheaper than one ninety? Oh yeah, bro. This listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Tops. Okay. I know, I know you kind of far right now, bro. But one day you're gonna squeeze that uh that distance out pause and you're gonna be you're gonna be down here bro and i'm gonna give you the praise i gotta give it to all bro this shit is gonna hit the outlet bro mm. it's gonna hit the outlet bro. i promise you I, I don't think so man i think once people start getting their tax money they're gonna start they're gonna start um nah, doing their thing i don't think on this one <clears throat> this shit's gonna hit the outlet. I'm telling you, bro. It always happens. You can always kind of tell when the shit is just like really, really sitting on Nike. When it's like sitting on Nike and it's not moving, you know what I'm saying? Like, and 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 you can see it sitting there for a while, but it always ends up becoming something that ends up at the outlet. So I'm hoping that at some point in time, I could get a double. And I'm gonna sound ridiculous because I know that I don't want to do this, but I'm gonna do it on this shoe. I'm definitely gonna go for a double and a triple. Now I might try to make the triple to where it's the shy on the back, just for the fuck of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have one shy and two regulars, but regulars. yeah, nah, this shoe, bro. I need another pair, bro. I want to wear this so bad, but I'm just like, I'm kind of waiting. I'm trying to see if I can get another pair for the low low. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I, at this point in time, I'd probably take a fucking used pair because I feel like motherfuckers are going to be seeing the price go low. They're going to use their shit one time and then they're going to try to off that shit. Shout yeah. out to Gucci said, grab me a 12. Bro, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, in, in them instances, it's best to just, hold, you know, make sure you follow me on Instagram and shit like that because, you know, I don't even be remembering. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm grabbing and it's kind of hard to remember who asks you and you got to remember, like, it's one of me and it's a lot of y'all. So I'm always down to help people when I can, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, shit, I remember, bro. And then if it's one of them situations where it's it's my pair or yours, well, at least your boy Zay kept it 100 with you. It's going to be my pair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I don't know. Somebody clapped Jay Hernandez. I don't think he said anything wrong there, but I hope that was a mistake. Uh yeah, he's cool, man. Though don't, don't worry about him. He's he's cool people, man. He's been number one supporter. They be shooting over here. Bang, bang, bang. Um, let me see. I I know I know your 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 show. You like to like bang. You like to get out what you need to say. But me, I'm a type of dude. Like as I'm talking, I watch the chat. No, nah, yeah, no, nah, you good, bro. Listen, bro, you good, bro. Okay, listen. Right? I'm, I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm listen, I'm just happy to be on the show, man. Right? Yeah, we got Beto's kicks in the building, man. Hey, and big perm, big worm. I mean, big perm. <laughs> Danny says it's so nice, man. That was a shot for the chat right there, bro. Salute to everybody, man. <laughs> ya lo, ya, ya está empezando. Mm -hmm. Shit. We got Jeff Curtis in the building, man. Salute, salute to everybody, man. Appreciate it. The peachy potatoes. <laughs> from Chicago, for Chicago's in the building, man. Yeah, we got that Henny on deck. You know, I'm trying to finish that shit, bro. To be honest with you, that Henny. Yeah. Shit, we got what? We got. We got Jello shots. What up? <laughs> Hello. We got uh, um, what well, we got, him yeah. We got the we got we got the damn crown royal that that the shit that shit say that say that motherfucking crown royal for the motherfucking guests, man. All right, when they come and they want some alcohol, some type shit, you give them that fucking purple crown royal that you have fucking because that shit was that shit straight trash, man. Jesus Louise, I can't drink that shit. But uh, what hey. we got that peach shit, and then I killed the uh, the other shit yesterday. I think there's only a little bit left. The Ciroc? Yeah. 
How many shots? So I took like three. I was, I, oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Scrooge, I took three shots yesterday. Hey, so this is the Pepsi oh, I was telling you about. Which one? This one right here. Oh, the zero. Yeah, that's just zero down the chart. Um, it's just the sodium is a little bit high, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop, bro. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Oh. But then that is uh trying to stay keto, man. What? Yeah, bro. Oh, Tops was telling me that with keto, there's no fucking cheat day. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> technically there's no. Yo, There's no cheat day. I <laughs> just go with that no. fuck shit. Ain't no damn hey. cheat day on keto, bro. But listen, I know, I know, I fucked up, I fucked up because there was the baby <laughs> And you shower. took me down with you, man. Nigga, please, I came home with the pizza and you fucked up on your own. Why you bringing that pizza? You ain't even know supposed to be bringing because that home. I brought it for Dominic. I didn't bring it for you. You brought mad slices. He wasn't yeah, gonna eat all that know, shit. Just, <laughs> my nigga, all the slices today. Look, he just he's eating the last one right now. Well, we I got ate, Mono, I ate Mono a kicks. <laughs> and my girl Renee Richardson's in the building. Yeah, man. So keto is a is a diet. Look, check it out. It's a diet that that will make you feel weird as fuck because it makes you go into like a flu stage. Mm -hmm. Really? You're, yeah. So you like you'll have you'll go into ketosis. We got Ari Lee in the building, the best makeup artist I've ever seen on YouTube, hands down. That's just facts. Um, so you basically go into like a keto, your body goes into ketosis. And what happens is, um, bro, even your piss starts smelling like like really bad. Really? Like, yes. My piss don't smell so, bad. So no, it's gonna start. Uh, how long does it take to hit ketosis? So it depends, it depends on your body. Everybody's different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how people ask me, hey, true to size? I go, bro, I don't know if you got big foot, wide foot, long Yo, foot. You know, you know? Bro, you know that 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 sentence, that, that, that yeah, that term, that doesn't I agree. Make no sense, I, I agree. I agree. I'm like, bro, I don't know what there's to no tell you. Thing is true to size. We're not all the yeah. same size. You know, there's certain shoes that run snug, and for me, and there's some people that can uh <laughs> they can um you know they the shoe runs snug or if not, it's loose. So whatever. So uh, long story short. Uh, yeah. So when you're in ketosis, your urine starts smelling like shit. Uh, basically, you start getting like slight headaches and stuff like that. So um, once you're on the uh, on that keto, bro, it's no joke. Now, when you do go on that, uh, you when you're on ketosis, you got to drink a lot of water with high electrolytes. What's that mean, so, though? High, so you gotta find water that's it's high on electric. No, so you gotta buy water that's high on electrolytes. Weird. That means it has salt, salt in it. What salty water? Yeah, nigga, that's what electrolyte is. It's salt. <laughs> so what you do if you buy regular water, just grab a, a pinch of sea salt and put it in your water, and just shake it. You barely, you won't taste it, bro. You won't taste it. If you if you use regular water, another thing that you can do is um, is Gatorade out of, uh, zero Gatorade zero. Why zero though? Because you can't Gatorade has a shitload of sugar oh, and a shit. Keto, yeah. Keto's no sugar, no carbs. Come on, Beto, bro. Keep me on track, Papa. Come on. So I'm you buy a regular Gatorade, sucking down bottles. Pause. Man. So so then from there you got to do uh, no fruits, only berries. What, bro? We've been yeah. eating fruits this whole time. Eating, well, we've been eating grapes. Bro, I was eating apples yeah. and oranges and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, all that, all that shit has sugar. So you gotta eat strawberries. Uh, ain't even been on keto this whole time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker's been bullshitting. Yeah. So everything, anything with berry, peanut butter, uh, almond, uh, almonds, mm -hmm. uh, protein like chicken, steak, fish, um, shit. You gotta cook with, and you can't cook with like vegetable oil or 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 um olive shit. Oil. Not olive oil. Olive oil is the best, and coconut oil. Mm. And what I do is I cook the bacon, and when I cook eggs, I use the grease of the bacon to cook the eggs. What? Yeah. You so use the bacon grease of the what? I, bacon grease. Yeah, yeah. So when you when you're cooking bacon, bacon produces the grease. Oil, yeah. yeah. So that oil, I use it to cook oh, my no. eggs to make scrambled eggs or or sammy side up or whatever. Really? 
Yeah, so basically, don't long story short, oil, don't that oil be dirty? Nah, nigga, the best fat in, in is in bacon. Pork is the best source of fats. So you know how a lot of people say that pork is this, pork is that? Nah, bro, pork is one of the best source of fats. Like, that is good fat. So good fat eats the bad fat. Mm -hmm. And that's what keto is. So avocado has good fats in it. Um, What else? Uh, almonds. Uh, crap. Uh, uh, coconut oil. All that shit has good fats that we need, that the body needs. And so what happens is when your body goes into this ketosis, hey, hey, you shock your body. Like you start getting like dry mouth. Like, you know, when you're smoking weed and you yeah. fucking got caught in mouth and shit, you're going to feel the same way. You're going to get like slight headaches and stuff like that. And, you know, keto is kind of hard to stay on it. But once you surpass that and you kind of get your body used to eating like that, then you're good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... Hey, Tops, how do you know about keto so much? Have you done it? All right. So I was at 262 pounds in 2017. I did it oh, for I two know. months. Yeah, I did it for two months, bro. And I went down to like 230, dog. Like 228 was the best I saw. That's still a lot, though. Two months, nigga? Shit, I wouldn't mind losing a nice little solid yeah. 20 pounds, bro. Uh, yeah. Tony, Tony D says that avocados for higgers. <laughs> That's a higger fruit. But we can eat toast, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no bread. No. Yo, yo, Toss, let me ask you a question. And I don't I don't think I've ever asked you this either. Um, and you are a different uh how would you say a different form of Hispanic? So am I, and so is Tops. Mm -hmm. Tops is Cuban, you Colombian, mm -hmm. um, Puerto, Puerto Rican, Dominican, right? Uh growing up, my grandmother used to make us uh she would just make the 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 pan sobao. You know what pan sobao is? You know, or like, like, is is that soaked bread or something like that? <coughs> Bang so I was like, how would you say it? Even Cuban bread, it's like the bread the motherfuckers eat in the morning. Yeah, 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 it's that. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And it's that, and it would just be mayo and avocado. You never. Avocado. Oh my god, I love avocados, but we can't eat bread. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can't eat bread. You got to stay away from bread if you're gonna do anything of that nature. You got to get like wrapped this low on carbs. So as long as you keep your carbs per that day on your life. Tops. Oh, man, you know a lot about this. I like that. Yo, you're going to be my How'd you, yo, friend. Yo, Tops, how did you find out about it? Shout out to Keto Connect on YouTube. Really? <laughs> yeah, bro. So you go to like, I, I go to like, uh, when I was on it heavy, bro, I would go to Wendy's and get a, uh, a uh, uh, what do you call that? Number one, the Dave ba uh, Bacon Burger with no bun. They'll give it to you in a bowl. Oh, where's that? And like Wendy's. Wendy's? And Wendy's. Wendy's, like Wendy's. Yeah. No, yeah. So Wendy's, Wendy's has the best meat and fast food. Or if not, you go to uh to like uh Burgerfy or I just subscribed to that keto joint. Yeah, or if not, you could go to Five Guys and get a either uh rat uh lettuce wrap burger. The triple, and, the triple burger. Yeah, you could do the lettuce wrap, triple, quadruple, double, yeah. single, however you want. Yeah, make sure you yeah, make sure you I use uh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is also a good source of fats. Okay. Mayonnaise, I love yeah, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is good source of fats. You know what? I was sad um, because I couldn't do my Taco Tuesday. Yeah, so Five Guys has the. Uh, you could do a lettuce wrap taco. You yeah. get what I'm saying. Same. Let let us wrap taco. You know, you chop it up with the uh, with onions and uh, uh, mayo. You just put in everything in the lettuce, and then just yeah, roll, you the lettuce. roll it. You roll up the lettuce, or you could do is get low carb, uh, low carb, uh, uh, fucking low carb wraps. Oh, you see, you get low carb wraps, man. What are you talking about? Ooh, uh, I think I told okay, you. Let me ask you something. Um, tops. So wait, so is it that you can't eat carbs at all or you got to eat like a certain amount? No, so you got to stay underneath, I believe, 40 to 35% carbs. So if you're going to eat carbs, uh, eat it in the like late afternoon, like five, six o'clock. So if you, this is the thing, though, like the way keto really was gonna, is going to help you lose weight fast is, is what you call intermittent fasting. So when you wake up in the morning, you just drink water. No coffee, no nothing. Okay. Unless you're gonna drink coffee with no sugar, none of that shit. No dairy, no nothing. 
You got to get a creamer that has no sugar in it. Your hazelnut is off the question. Damn it, bro. Okay, so, okay, because that's usually what I do lately. Ever since I've been doing it, I haven't been hungry though. That's my thing. So that's is that's what's gonna happen. Is it's gonna uh help you cut down your your metabolism in the sense of like your hunger and shit like that. It's gonna fuck with you a little bit. So by fastening, what happens is instead of eating your breakfast at eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning, you don't give your body time from the time you wake up to the time you eat that first meal, you don't let your body do what it needs to do, his course. So you can eat your breakfast at 11 o'clock in the morning. Mm. You get what I'm saying? By the time you eat that breakfast, your body already went through some type of like, uh, like cycle through like the whole body system or whatever. I'm not a doctor, doc, so I don't know all these fucking big Yo, words. Your question: Are you are you supposed to? Is it truly you supposed to stop eating at a certain time? Because I'll be yes. up, I'll be up late at night, bro. So I need yes. to find a way to move so, hours into the nighttime to where I can eat at night. So if you're a type of person that's used to eating, then what you can do is basically like. You drink water in the morning, eat your breakfast, your breakfast in the like at 11, and then at one o'clock, eat like some type of snack, and then eat your dinner at like six, seven, and then don't eat nothing after that, just pure water. Hold on. If you want to lose the if you want to lose the weight fast. I missed everything because I had to go get the peaks out the oven. Come on, bro. Damn. You gonna make him repeat that so you could go right. get a slice of pizza, bro? No, so check it out. It's really, it's real easy. That's so if you want, if you want to do the do it the proper way, is is this is don't eat nothing once you wake up. Drink water. Drink as much water as you can. Uh, I try to do between the time I wake up by the time I eat that first meal. I try to drink two bottles of water like this. Okay. Right. I try to drink two of those, and then I try to eat my meals with with water. Right. Mm -hmm. So then once you eat that first meal, like two hours later, you eat like a snack, like almonds, uh, strawberries, berries, blueberries. And then you go ahead and you move on to uh, like your your dinner. But in between all that, you got to be snacking on something like either on like uh, beef jerkies, mm -hmm. uh, shit like that. Anything to keep your metabolism kind of like going, because the more good fats you eat, the more fat you're going to burn. Mm. So, so by the time you eat your dinner, like seven, seven thirty, no later than eight, since you guys go to sleep late. So if you eat at eight, it doesn't really matter. So let's say for an example, you go and you eat at eight o'clock and you go to sleep by 12 and you only drink water from there, uh, from there on on, then your body is basically burning fat. Like it's trying to, you know, Shit. it's trying to, it's trying to eat the fat that's there. Bam, bam, all that good fat is going to eat the bad fat. Does it matter what time you eat? Yes, of course. Said, uh, said so if you eat at, at 11 o'clock at night, no, what I need to do, I fuck you up. all the hours forward. <laughs> I'm dead ass. So another thing that will help you cut your hunger a little bit is the um, try the uh, ginger apple cider yeah. vinegar. No, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. I got that in the fridge. Yeah, drink that and mix that with put that in one of these. Like drink this much water and then fill the rest up with apple uh, cider vinegar. Oh, that shit is gross. Bro, that shit is nasty as fuck, but that shit works though. I'm telling you, your poppy, your poppy was looking good. Was that? I've been drinking water and lemon. That helps too, you know. So that's gonna help you cut down your hunger a little bit. Yo, listen, Tops. That's uh, why top. I haven't been hungry. Tops, so listen, listen, bro. Tops, listen. Me, 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 and your pops cut from the same cloth, bro. I'm just gonna throw the middle fingers up, bro, and I'm just gonna rock <laughs> out on this bitch. I, I got that memoria, bro, and okay, I'm just gonna have a good time, bro. Because the thing is, I can't just be out here doing all this fucking weird yeah, shit and not living life. I could fucking drop that tomorrow, man. Yes, baby, you could do whatever you want. All right, go make me a fucking triple cheeseburger, man. Hey, facts, Tony. But at, at the same time, it's just a healthier way of eating. Yeah, you no, know? nah, nah, it's right. You true. It's 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 the truth though. Mm. And <laughs> ya lo le está dando esa botella. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, oh shit! I gotta check to see if that soap because I put the soda in the damn uh, what you call it in the freezer. Yo, I really love these tops. I don't know, bro. Then, and let me tell you something. Them, the UNC threes are a lot better, bro. These and these, yeah, bro. The leather, the leather on these are crazy, bro. Ask Tony. I think he just did a review on his. 
shit, man. Oh my god, Henry, you ain't lying, bro. Yo, bro, is, is Junior's open right now? It's one thirteen. Don't they close that too? Hell no, isn't Junior's a, a like a burger place? Yeah, it's a Colombian burger. Oh my god. Yeah, it's that keto liquor right there. Let me see how much carbs this bitch have. These, bro. You know, I'm so happy that these were slept on, not limited. Oh, yeah, shit. I'm glad I slept on yeah, them. I remember, I remember months ago, I was just like, damn, bro. Like, this shit's going to be hard to get. And shit, thank God it wasn't. Yo, everybody, go check out Tony D's video tomorrow. You know, I'm trying to get my videos Tony D uh stamped approved, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, and if you're gonna drink soda, bro, uh the way to go is to like kind of confuse like the brain and shit is the ice water. Ice water, yeah. That there's an ice water that, that comes like in a in a bottle like this, and it's flavored water, but gas like a soda. But if you're gonna drink soda, this is the, the worst. Oh, you, you know what? Is it is it the clear water joint that they be having at Walmart for like sixty cents? If it's that shit, I can fuck with that shit. Yo, look, people. I would Tony say here. You know it, bro. I'm coming for your neck, cuz. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, bro, I, I, Tony, dog. I look at a lot of your of your videos, and bulls too as well. And I try to like. Not mimic, but you guys give me somewhat of like a, of an idea of like a visual. You feel me? Of how should I br bring that shit? Damn, this shit froze on my ass. Shit, that shit got me thinking about fucking Colombian burgers. Henry, chill, bro. Got me fucked up right now, man. Also, too, as well. Don't forget to uh, sub up to Zaya's new channel, bro. Please, thank you. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, man. So basically, bro, like the keto diet is something that you can. Uh... Yeah, I appreciate that, Tony, man. I, I have to bring my own twist to it, bro, because it is it's something that is that, you know, I look I've always looked up to his channel and shit like that. The way he brings his videos, dog, is dope. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody can vouch for that. You know what I mean? But I definitely I look at a lot of your videos and get like somewhat an idea and just I try to put my own twist to that to that shit. Holla. Sounds like Danny Blake, man. Hey, uh, Henry said, "Yeah, it's a Colombian burger." Oh, it's like, so good though, Henry. You wilding right now, bro? I think that place closes at two. Bro, I can eat that shit. Just no bun. I gotta take the bun out. Hot dogs. I just take the bun out. Like something that I need to eat quick, take just take the bun yeah, out. Fact, no, they, they, no got a burger. they got a burger that got a hot dog in it. Oh, word! Oh, yeah. yeah. burger, and then I think the hot dog is cut like in half and then stacked on top. That shit is banging. Oh my god, heart attack waiting to happen. Wow. Was it called? Was it called? Um, yeah, bro. If you take out the bun, you're good, bro. No ketchup. You gotta stay away from the oh, ketchup. I hate, I hate ketchup. I hate ketchup. Oh, same here. And you gotta stay away from uh, mustard too, as well. It's, it's supposed to be good and shit. I hate mustard though. I love mustard. Uh, if you're gonna eat wings, you gotta bake them, bitches. Yeah, we got uh we got one of them fucking uh or air or fryers. air fryers. Yeah, air fryer that bitch. And that bitch, yeah, we, that bitch work, bro. We had some crunchy ass chicken the other day, and I didn't that, do it. I put a little season. I put that bitch right in there. Yeah, that's just no joke. Oh, uh, fucking, you got to say, you got to say, hey, Hager, with, with your chest, boy. Hey, listen here, Hager. Listen hey, here, Hager. Get that soda out the fucking fridge, Hager. <laughs> <laughs> Was it cold, Cole? Um, it's pretty cold. Does it look like it has the icicles in it? No. I put that bitch back in there. I'll do it. Yo, Tony, bro, you be active as fuck on that Twitter, G. You were going in today with that Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Oh, you good, Tro. We, we just getting started, bro.
So yeah, man. Anybody that uh, yeah, bro. I see, I see, I see you, bro. You, you if if people want to stay updated with you and get the best out of you, I figured that was that's Twitter right there, Twitter. If everybody wants to know what Tony D is doing, he, he's picking his nose. He's typing it on Twitter. He's like, yo, I just pulled out the nastiest book out of my nose. He put it on Twitter. Hey, the Pine Greens, I could get them for 200 for you guys. Or 130 for for the... Uh, for So they want it for the men's size. The ones they still have left, they want 200 for it. And then the GS sizes, they want 130 for them. Who, who you can get them from? My plug, so hey, like hey, a little while, you, yeah. A little oh, tops plug legit, bro. Okay, so can you get them for me, tops? Yeah, I could, I can get, I try and get them for you tomorrow. So, like the men's pair, 200, and the and the uh kids' pair. I need a five and a half. Let me know so I can send you the money. Yo, bro, you telling me I, I want, I want Bernie to win, bro. I'm not a politics kind of person, bro, but Bernie's my guy, bro. The thing was an epic failed day for us. Yeah, I'm gonna start fresh tomorrow. For real, let me get a bite of that sandwich. God, <laughs> man, I'm on the Yeah, man, we start fresh tomorrow, man. Hey, check it out, bro. So I don't know if you size nine. Yeah, I, I already put that that size away for you, bro. So whenever you're ready, my guy. I got a nine and a. I think I got a nine and a half. Hell no, Alex. Alex says Trump twenty twenty. I I I fuck with Trump business wise, bro. But as a president, bro, he's trash, my nigga. But whatever, is it is neither here or there, bro. Renee, you shit out of luck. <laughs> but I'll try to go. I'll go to Foot Lockers and Champs. I'll end up going to Fort Myers tomorrow, and I'll find out. I'll try to. I'll try to get. Uh... Now, how far is Fort yeah. Myers? For me, uh, 35 to 40 minutes, depending on the traffic. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's like one in Kissimmee. Uh, yeah, pretty much. It's like you guys going to Kissimmee. It's just this next city over. Mm. I, I don't mind going out there. Either way, I uh, gives me something to do. Get out the house and shit for a little bit. Yeah. Tops is a 100 years old teenager. <laughs> Shit, bro. Hey, so I know me and Zayo wanted to talk about this documentary called uh, Gabriel Fernandez, bro. Mm. He Zayo's watched it 50 million times. I've watched it. Uh, I haven't finished watching it yet. I still got one more episode left, but I kind of know where it's going to already. And you know what? Well, listen, when I got off the phone with you, I was like, yo, he didn't see the last episode. And then I realized there's actually something crazy that happens in the last episode, too. I, I, I was reading about it. So that's why I kind of know what's going to happen. So, you know, uh, that it ended up happening again. Uh, yeah. So, yo, you don't even know that. I don't want to kill it for you. I'm, bro, just saying. Yo, when the whole thing was over with this whole case was over, you would think that as many people got in trouble and as how fucked up that case was that they would have got their shit together. Right. Yeah, Bro, it happened again. The same exact scenario. Boyfriend, mother, the people damn near almost look the same. And it happened in the same neighborhood, bruh. Literally, the next case happened, what, less than five miles away from where the little boy was killed? And the same exact thing. Case has been over there. No one reported. Police reported. Over there. So, what the fuck is over there? So what what I got from it, what I got from it is that um that the caseworkers has so much cases that it was hard for them to keep up, even if it had f a bunch of red flags. So I was like, "Fuck!" So why do why are those people getting in trouble for it when they're taking care of X amount of? I think one of the head guys was saying there was like each one had like three hundred and fifty cases. But oh, top, mm -hmm. think about it, bro. You got three hundred and fifty cases where kids is being abused. Yeah, bro. What? Bro, that's, that's what you're saying. That the cases nah, that they have, three fifty of them are confirmed. Like Thirty or something like that. Yeah, but that those are three three hundred fifty cases that are being like monitored. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like being checked on. 
So like they show you parts on the on the on the on the documentary of them like taking other people's kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, the guy was show me again. Yeah, it's on Netflix, bro. And, and let me tell you something. Everybody in here is worth a watch. And I know people are gonna say, you know, yeah. like it's hard for parents. Hard, it really yeah. is. Listen, I watched it and I ain't gonna front, bro. I shed a tear. Yeah, you you yeah, went to sad. you went to you went to sleep, and I was just like, damn, bro. Like this is fucking it's low key, sad. real it's sad, sad, bro. I couldn't. I kept giving my son a kiss. Like I don't understand how people could beat. It's a rough kids. watch, but yeah. you know what? It's 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 part of our history. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't understand how people could treat their kids like that, though. Like, and you could tell from the very beginning she didn't want him. She of course, she left them. She left them in the hospital. Yeah. She left yeah, them in the she, hospital. No, she actually gave. She actually whooped it out. Uh, like left the hospital, rode out, and then she. I guess she confirmed yeah. to give it to her to the her uncle or whatever. Uh, uh, people, people. Yeah. If you watch it, she had already made the deal with her uncle to give the, mm -hmm. baby to the uncle. Yeah. So you telling me, Mama, you don't even got the patience to wait for the uncle to come get the baby? Mm -hmm. You calling him talking about the baby crying too much? Like, come on, Sorry, girl. Father. And you got two kids. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, which is crazy. Go ahead, go ahead. Which, which is which is crazy because that was one of the other things that kind of like I was like, what? Two more? Because I, I at first I only thought it was them. It was him. You know what's the part that fucked me up, bro? The dad is the dad to all the kids. Yes, and then I was he's like, the, the dad, whole he's the dad to all three of them. So why was there such an issue with the little one? You know what I'm saying, like. Yeah, exactly. Because I think something's triggering her in the mind that that kid reminds her. Because remember, she's a, a was abused and all that shit. It ends up yeah. coming up forward that she was abused too as well. I guess that was the uh, narrative they were using, yeah. or the excuse they were using. So, uh, long story short, I guess what I'm thinking is that that kid reminds her of her father. Because that kid looks exactly like the fucking uncle and the and her dad or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I, I'm I'm assuming that's why she was going ape shit on the kid. You yeah. know what I mean? Damn, bro. Like, come on, don't do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, bro. Listen, matter of fact, listen, this is gonna be the wildest shit I probably say, and people are probably gonna look at me sideways. So I'm expecting it. But when I really thought about it as I watched it, because I watched it two times completely through. When I was watching it on the second time. I started thinking to myself, like, yo, they low key were better off just killing the little boy and dumping the body somewhere. Because how did they think that they there was going to yeah, be that, bro? They were sending the kid to the school. The teacher was calling the uh, calling her every other day and shit, telling her, hey, your kid has a fucking black eye, has this, has that, has this. What's up? Like, oh, she's like playing it off. But it's like, holy shit, dude. Like, what the fuck? Like, when were they finally going to do something about it? And that's what that was the part that was kind of like bothering me where I had to like stop watching and do something else for a little bit and then go back to watch it again because it like it was bothering me. Like, why the fuck did nobody do anything? You know what I'm saying? Because because, dog, where I used to live at, I had a friend of mine that his that he was getting beat up by his dad. And bro, that nigga used to leave live his crib, leave his crib and come and sleep at mine's and then wake up early enough in the morning to go because that was a drunk. So his dad never didn't work, woke up late, went to sleep early. Yeah. Cause he was drunk as fuck, woke up late. So he would never know for like a good month that kid slept in my house until child services came through and took him. Damn. Never saw him again. Let me let me ask you a question. Your your friend though, like um how old is your friend though? Like, what age group is that? That was like you grew up in. Was, you grew up where in Florida? Yeah, I grew up in Miami, bro. Miami. So I was born and raised in Miami. So I, I lived in the projects all my life. So how, like that um, friend of yours, how old is that friend now? He's probably my age, bro. His name was Willie. So um, uh, shit. I don't remember if he was older than me or younger than me, but I know we we're the same age. So I, I'm 34 now. So he's probably 34. I know his brother Charles. I see him on Facebook, but I never see him. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen him for I've years. Got, I've got five years on you. The only reason I say that is because low key, man, you know, my grandmother used to beat my ass, bro. And when I look back at it now, I'm like, I, I used to get like in trouble for like weird stuff that didn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was always in trouble. I was always punished. I used to get my ass handed to me. <laughs> 
one time my grandmother beat my ass because a pair of boots ain't fit me. So C vlogs, C vlogs brought brought up uh, uh brought up something. He says, "Y'all think the school system has some fault in this?" Yeah. Oh, of course, of course. Wait, so, why? 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 Everybody had a fault. Like, yeah, but the teacher was reporting it. Yeah. No, but the principal wasn't letting her though. Remember, the principal is like, "Yo, we have we're not investigators. You know what I'm saying? We just report what's going on and and going on from there." So the principal, you know, didn't put that initial step forward to make something happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, the teacher is like, fuck, I'm trying to keep my job. But at the same time, I'm trying to save this kid's life. Let me call his parents to see what's going on, which that's where she fucked up at. I would have called the child services right there and then. Well, no, she was calling the child services. She was? Yeah. I thought she was calling the was parents. Calling the mom. She was calling the child services. Because remember, the little boy, at first, the little boy was, was asking her to call. And then after a certain amount of time, the little boy would come back. Matter of fact, I think the little boy was out of school for a minute. He came back. He had a fucking black eye. Well, two black eyes. He had missing patches of hair missing from his head. He had scabs on his head. And when he, when I, when I guess the teacher confronted him to ask him, like, yo, what happened? This then the third. He lied at first. But he said he fell off a bike, and the bike. Was like, bro, he didn't fall off no bike. And when he at, when she asked him again, he was like, "Oh well, you know." He told her, but he was like, "Oh, just don't call that lady because whenever the lady comes, I get it worse." Mm-hmm. Which is the the child the child services, yeah. But bro, like even the child services, like there's one there's one instance in which the child services lady goes over to the house. And bruh, she don't even see the kid. The kid's locked up in the cupboard in the back. And it's just like, yo, what are you doing, bro? Like your child services. Wouldn't you think that the first thing you're supposed to be doing over there is checking on a motherfucking child? Like, what did you do over there? You interviewing the mom, interviewing the dad, bro. Where the fuck is the, the child that you came to see? You didn't even see the child that 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 visit. What the fuck? That's just crazy, bro. Yeah. yeah. So um, so basically when when I saw that, I was like, yo, the kid was missing for school for like 13, 14 days. And she was like, yo, like that nigga got a badass ass whooping that they didn't let him go to school so he can heal a little bit. And when he comes back to school, the man has like rub rash on his forehead. And then they started showing like the baseball bats, the the stick that they were doing like shit on, like, you know, test on and stuff like yeah, that. He supposedly, he <clears throat> yeah, supposedly he was, he was uh, walking around with broken parts of his ribs. That's crazy, bro. To a little boy like that, like <clears throat> shout out to him, Satello. All right. So yeah, in this situation here, this ain't, this ain't, this is a next level fuck shit. This is what I call it. I'm definitely snitching on this one. So this is a next level uh, fuck this, shit. I'm sorry, bro. There's no such thing this, as snitching. Yeah, in this instance, there's no such thing as snitching, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, so to me, bro, like, to be honest with you, obviously, like, because let's say if we were to take the matters into our own hands, then we end up getting in trouble, right? Yeah. Fine. Because we t- we took the matters into our in our own hands. To be honest with you, Bro, the kid is going to live a fucked up life already. He suffered so much that I, just by passing away and him dying, I, me as a person, I felt like he's living a better life, you know, not being here and not dealing with the situation. Why does my mom doesn't love me? Why is there I'm getting beat up? You know what I'm saying? That's the way I took it. I felt like by the kid passing away, he was able to like, you know, it's a, it was like a relief for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I felt like it was a relief for him. And he's able to now, you know, if there is a what was it, a life after death, if there is that, I feel like he's in a better place now. You feel me? And, you know, RIP to freaking Gabriel, bro. The kid, that kid had heart because he tried to make it work. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Your, your only job is to be a little kid. And it's just like, like, you know, you that's just crazy, bro. But you would have snitched for sure if the kid was getting beat. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Fuck that. You yeah, know, bro, if not, I'll be taking that's I'll be taking, you and apply in this case, bro. 
You know, it's funny when I used to work for the cable company, they used to do that shit to us, man. They used to <clears throat> offer like bonuses and shit. Um, if you uh, if your information led to like a prosecution or something like that, uh, because they know that the cable man be up in people's houses and he be able to see shit. You know what I'm saying? So he's just like, you already get in there. You know what I'm saying? Let us know if you see something in there. That's just Shut up. Shout out to Cruz, Screws in Texas, bro. I can't even say the name right now. <laughs> yeah, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I, I, I ate good today, so we good. Uh, my wife made some keto uh, blueberry muffins. Oh shit, they fire, bro. So yeah, man, I know, I know what I just said right now sounded fucked up, but man, the shit that that kid was going through, bro, that's something you don't wish upon nobody, not even like on like basically your worst enemy. Depending how you feel about your worst enemy, but like if even if your worst enemy was going through that, you will feel some kind of way about it, bro. Like what that kid went through, bro. When that kid died and they did an autopsy, autopsy on him, shattered ribs, broken skull cat litter in his stomach <clears throat> the kid got shot by bb guns in his face like come on like how much torture can this kid can get bro like death was easy for him bro you know what i'm saying yeah. like that's the way i felt you know i wonder whatever happened because that shit was a few years ago the, the 2013 <laughs> yeah, did the dad get put to a thing? Not the dad. Did the boyfriend get put to death? Because he was on death row, wasn't he? So I haven't gotten to that part yet. <laughs> so that's the part I'm waiting for to see if they're gonna. Because you know, California has that. It all depends on the state law put put in, bro. But they should kill both of them motherfuckers. Fucking yeah, torture fuck them. Don't fuck them both, fucking, bro. They should hang them motherfuckers. To be honest bro, with you, chop their fucking public, head off publicly, bro. It should be like yeah. a public stoning, bro. Really? Because I just feel bad for the people that work in the in the for the government. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, even the cop that was doing the lawyer cop that was doing the case, the the lawyer for the government or what do you call that for the county or whatever? Yeah. Like he was even abused as a child. So he went hard on that case. And shout out to him, bro, because as of right now, for what I can see, they're fucking, they're about to go ham on them. Like, he's trying to get them to get them, like, the whole nine. Like, yo, chop their dick off, cut their nipples off, fucking. You're not playing. Fucking make them, make them eat that shit. That's the way that lawyer sounds like, yo, like, I, that's what I want for them, you know? Yeah. So I was like, God damn. Like, fuck. But I'm them motherfuckers deserve they, everything. Yeah, they deserve that shit, bro. Like, that's just fucking wild. It's like, it's like uh, uh and the lawyer that they got for them, that nigga's trash, bro. <laughs> Bruh, but the thing is, you gotta you listen, because I, I thought that at first. I was like, yo, that lawyer is trash. But bruh, the problem is is that the dude confessed like the first day that they had him. He had already told on himself. So you're not even like trying to fight to determine whether this motherfucker is guilty or not. You're just trying to fight to see if you could get him off death row or or being put to death. And at that point, bro, like I don't know, bro. In, in all honesty, let me tell you something. Like they, they, they kind of, they kind of played with it a little bit on whether he was helping. <coughs> excuse me, in the abuse, whether he was helping in the abuse that whole time, or if he really just lost his cool right then and there. But even what the little boy said, bro, is not enough to beat him like that. The little boy literally, and the little boy said he didn't say this, but the mom says that he said. For the mom to leave the boyfriend. That's like one of Jules' sons being mad at me and telling Jules, like, yo, yeah, uh, I should leave. And then me walling out and killing him. Like, that shit don't make no sense, bro. That dude is an idiot. He's a moron. Okay? You sat there with that woman in that apartment, bro, torturing that little boy. And that ain't even your fucking kid, bro. That's not even your kid. And yeah. now you on death row. You about to, I don't even know. I don't want to kill her for you or nothing. Because I really, I, I really don't know. I don't remember. But, and she got life, bruh. Her shit was life. And it's just like, what you mean life? Put <clears> the <throat> motherfuckers in front of the fucking courthouse. Hang them. 
Let's throw some stones at them. I don't know with the kids. I think it's just worse, bro. Like you know, yeah, it's just and he a motherfucker. Like yo, bro. Like if you got if you got like some sort of problem in you or something like that, bro. Man, go throw hands with with a grown man outside, bro. Exactly, bro. So little kid that can't even probably fight back your big ass. So so Henry Henry has a point, bro. It's just I don't know. Like everybody has their own opinion on like what's going on. Like if you if you were to watch it, like people can get different ideas of like what really went on. Because remember, it's a documentary. Yeah. You're 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 only seeing the the bad side of it. Like they only touch base on like what the mom has been through. They didn't touch too much base on what the boyfriend has been through in life and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, at first, I was like the first two episodes towards the, the second episode towards the end of dad comes up, comes up because at the whole time I was like, yo, where's the father? Because yeah. they don't mention him until they show him in court. So and I was like, and he's been through some shit. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker was in and out of jail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, bro, like. I, I'm just saying, like, if my if if I was to be pulled through that, bro, I'd just say, bro, I, like, like kids, the kid even had a suicide note. That's just wild, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, fuck, At like eight, eight years old, you're writing suicide notes. Suicide notes. Like, yeah, thumbs up. So, man. so it's something that that is fucked up, dude. It's a fucked up situation, bro, and it's something that like. That kind of shit opens up a lot of people's eyes, dog, and see what 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 was really out there. You know what I'm saying? That's just crazy. Yes. Yeah, so what's gonna happen is this. To me, the jail system, I for people like that, I think they they shouldn't be in jail for that long. I think as soon as the case is over, they should deal with their ass, whatever they got, either death row. Or whatever the case is, just deal with it. Get it over and done with. You know what I'm saying? And and bro, and kill those motherfuckers slowly. You know what I'm saying? So and, you wouldn't you wouldn't want the death to be immediate. Uh for them, for the parents, yeah. for the bo- boyfriend and the mom. No, nah, I, I wish there were I wish there was a system for people like that to be tortured. I, I, yeah, until I, they died. I, I think that type of system right there, like that that shouldn't be like a normal jail like death row like if you're on death row like bro you should be on especially them like them uh, shit maybe they may be a special case but make them sit there bro like fuck rec time fuck fuck the meals man nah bro eat this cat little bro you know yeah, I mean? eat, eat, eat this shit that I just yeah like, exactly fuck all that come, yeah. fuck, come by all that human rights fuck all that bro yeah oh, come by one oh, night and just hit him with the belt buckle across the head in the middle of the night then in the middle of the sea just open the thing he just just bring like three diesel ass motherfuckers in there and just whip them and, and come by the next day shoot them in the face with a BB gun you know what I'm saying oh, like make them oh, make them Make them taste their own medicine you know what I'm saying so that's the way that I uh, tie their hands legs no food, no water. Yeah, bro. Shit like that. Fuck them, bro. Because at, at the end of the day, those people, you shouldn't, nobody should have petty for it, bro. And I I wish the kid just would have stayed with the gay uncles, bro, because the... Cause yeah, I, that part of the story, like, it, 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 it hurt because I was just like, yo, like, they were, people were so focused on what money that they could get from welfare for the little boy and Oh, the uncles is gay. They don't need to be raising no fucking kid. And low key, shit, the uncles is probably the ones that were fucking good to him, bro. Yeah. The and on the, and the, the, re- the reason why they went over to the, I think to her, her mom or some shit like that, grandma, is because he got deported. Back well, to the- yeah, supposedly someone called and said that he had molested. The little boy. So when they investigated yeah. it, they found out that he was illegal. They deported him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I heard that they had taken it, they had taken him back for welfare money, bro. The welfare money that was being paid out on him, they wanted to take control of that. And in order to do that, they had to take the kid. That's just crazy. Hold on, bro. Look at this shit. 
snitch up their a hole and keep feeding them. Oh, stitch up their a hole. You know, it's funny. I was thinking about that shit, bro. As we was talking about that, I was thinking about that Wu Tang shit, man. Yeah, for real, dog. That's what I. That's what I was picturing. The whoa, shoot, yeah. Put his hand on a fucking table and just hit that shit with a spiked bat. And then send that motherfucker to his cell. <laughs> TK said, gay uncle starving tied up. What the fuck I came into? <laughs> We're talking about a documentary, bro. That's just crazy, though. Fucking, it's just, uh, fucking life is crazy, bro. Like, the shit that we go through and the shit that we see and, and hear and listen and all that bullshit, bro, is fucking nuts, bro. Yo, um... Yo, shout out to C Vlogs, man. He said, question, not trying to make excuses for the parents, but is there a reason why the parents did that to the boy? Nah. Uh, in all honesty, I don't I don't think that they had a reason why he was getting abused all that time. Now, the reason why he got beat up at the very end was supposedly uh he had told his mom that she should leave the boyfriend or something to that effect. And then uh the mom pretty much told that to the boyfriend the boyfriend got mad and started to beat him you know what i'm saying uh but quite frankly listen uh, this is this is what i be talking about bro this is why like you know what i'm saying as men you know what i mean man fuck, listen and i love females and when i say fuck the females i don't mean all females but bro wrap that dick up bro like if you know what i'm saying like don't be so hurried up to have children and and shit like that, bro. Like, especially if you can't deal with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, why put yourself in that position? Like, if you know you're not into kids and shit like that, and bro, wrap that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just another example of fucking broads having kids when they don't even need to be having kids. Shit, you knew that you ain't want that motherfucking kid. Why you letting motherfuckers skeet up all inside you, bro? You know what I'm saying? Go get, go get a shot or something. Bro, when I knew that I didn't want to have no more kids, bro, I went and I got my shit t- cut, bro. That's it. Done. I'm good. No, I don't want it. I don't want this life. <laughs> shit, <laughs> man. More people need to do the same, bro. For real. Hey, so Insatella said they should have gotten a shitload of paper cuts and then Mavericks follows through with the, uh, hey, and a bath full of alcohol. God Ooh. damn. God damn. <sighs> So, hey, you know what's funny, bro? Today I got a subscriber by the name of Coronavirus. Bruh, what? <laughs> yeah, hold on. It's, and he, bro, he wrote the coolest comment ever on the video. Um, See, the virus ain't that bad, man. It's just Coronavirus. It says, cop today, great review. You earned the sub. And then I wrote back, thank you. He goes, bro, your shit is dope. Looking like Tony D. <laughs> <laughs> you should have asked him if he was wearing a fucking mask when he was typing that shit. Jersey's life kill me, man. Bro, they kill anybody. I, They're killing him. I guess, bro. I'm still waiting for him. I'm still waiting for the homie to come down to Miami. He says he's gonna kill you, man. I know. I'm still be waiting. Careful. Maybe he could maybe he could kill you and me at, on the same weekend because he told me he's gonna come see me in April. Oh shit. He's got a lot of driving to do, bro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's got a, you know what I'm saying? But Jersey, you probably just grabbing tops on the way down and then just grab me on the way back up, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. I, I'll show you where he lives at too. Yeah, uh, for real. Right. Just come through, All bro. Right. All right, passenger. <laughs> yo yo relentless bro that's the fun i i think that be the funniest parts bro like and now i feel like he he be doing some weird shit man i don't know what's up with that boy man look let me tell you something bro one thing that i i i i am i say i'm not paying attention to that kind of fuck shit you know what i'm saying like i realize that bro there's a lot better things to pay attention to on on the on the youtube you know what i'm saying like this is so much other shit that you can pay attention to like because i'm trying to get better bro i'm trying to grow my channel but at the same time i know these people i i know they barely talking about me right now but at one point it was like i was like holy shit dude like what the fuck like what the fuck did i do to these motherfuckers you know what i'm saying but 
it is what it is. They they I guess they were trying to catch my attention and have me like to clap back. But yeah, but fucking Jersey. <laughs> listen, Jersey's Jersey's a little different, bro. Jersey's like that. I, Jersey reminds me of when my mom like sat me down and told me that like video games was fake and you can't you know be believing what you know rap be talking about and this then the third that don't mean oh same here you know what i'm saying like that was like that talk like you listening to too much rap music you talking about all that shoot them up and bang bang but the world don't work like that you can't just be going around thinking i feel like he never got <laughs> that talk and now he's a grown man you know what i'm saying and he really thinks that he's just going to get on the internet and tell people he's going to kill them and he's going to get on the internet and tell people that he's going to fight them and stuff like that and do this and do that. And just life is never going to ever put him in the path of someone that he said that to. Yeah. yeah. So this, this this is the thing, though, like and this is what happens. And I want the chat to hear this. Uh, hopefully, if it if it pulls through, I'm going to have a, a special video that is probably not going to do numbers, but I highly recommend to people to pay attention. All right. I got hit up today. I got the best news of my fucking life. And I'm glad that I'm not in, I'm not going back and forth with a lot of these people on YouTube, right? Because I'm pretty sure if I was, the shit that happened to me today would have probably never happened. All right? So I'm getting a sneaker in that I'm going to customize for somebody special. All right? And I saw that as a really good opportunity. Like I was I was stoked, I was super happy. And everything else uh so i'm not gonna be paying attention to that fuck shit whatever they got to say about me i guess that's how they feel about me i don't give three shits i'm just gonna move forward because i really came to youtube to show show sneakers that i cop give you guys information that i get fed you know what i'm saying because I'm, I'm i'm out there getting information talking to people talking to managers luckily i got people like aj kicks by my side you know what i'm saying there's constantly feeding me information people like believe it or not i know a lot of people don't like you Zaya, but if they pay attention to be like if we put the fuck shit to the side and they listen to your business perspective it, it kind of makes sense you get what i'm saying of yeah. how everything is getting put together in these youtube streets so they're asking me am i beefing with jersey no jersey is the one that has a problem with me you get what i'm saying Back. so um at the end of the day if he has a problem with me that's his problem you know what i'm saying so like i'm not here to talk back and forth to that man or to anybody else like if tomorrow if i was to fall off with zaya for whatever reason because he said I, I he probably heard something i said about him or whatever or somebody twisted the narrative i'm gonna hit him up behind the scenes and because i have his phone number and everything and i'm gonna talk to him about that problem you know what i mean what's up man Bye. Hello. Hey, so whatever, you know, I'm going to hit him up as a, as a as a man should do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of beefs that I had in YouTube got resolved in person, which I saw very little bit of mount get done. Everything was done how Tromageddon says through a pixel. You yeah. get what I'm saying? A lot of my beefs got taken care of in person. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I feel like I'm the bigger man here by not saying anything by keeping my cool and just moving forward at the end of the day is is giving me the energy to go harder so once i drop that video bro i hope everybody fucks with it bro because i'm gonna mention who the guy is um and the dude hit me up bro i did not hit him up you know what i'm saying he hit me up he saw my video on it and bro he hit me up he's like yo i need this done how much i go for you shit nothing just give me some clout and we good. Pay for shipping, then it isn't that. And bro, homie was like, bet I'll have it shipped out to you Monday. Give me an address. And bro, I was like, all right, cool. Damn. But I never thought that that would fucking happen, bro. Like literally, when I saw that text, that that DM, I was like, I, I, I like I skipped a breath. Like, like I was like, what, what the hell? Because you know how uh, Instagram when when they're not following you or you're not following them, it's like a, a request. Yeah. On your Instagram, you gotta accept it. And I saw a blue check. So I was like, what the fuck? I checked his his page out. I was like, all right, this nigga's legit. And I was like, all right, cool. Bet. So I went ahead and I answered back. He replied back to me quick. And I was like, 
I show my wife, and she's like, "No fucking way." You see, I told you stay away yeah, from the bro. Bush. This is like this is like fucking the the week before Christmas. Now yeah. well, we got to wait for this video. When's this video dropping? So it should be. Oh, you still got to wait for the shoe to come in. Yeah. So supposed to be going to be how long, how long work take on the shoe. Uh, two hours, bro. I have the video up that same night. So, like, you know, just take your time. I'll, take your time, though. Do it right. Do oh it yeah, right. yeah. I gotta do it right. But I'm excited for that shit. Like the shit that you know, you know. I I can I can mention this. Like you know, stay tuned. I got a, a video coming up pretty soon too as well with PR sneaks. I don't know if you guys are inf- uh, familiar with him on on Instagram. On Instagram, yeah. Shout out to PR. You know what PR sneaks, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, AJ helped me out opening doors, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I stay true to myself and I try not to bring back my old stuff, bro, because I, I didn't grow up in an easy neighborhood, dog. You know what I'm saying? And I saw a lot of shit that I, as a kid, I should have never seen. I've been through shit in life that, you know, I could have probably be living a better life right now, but, you know, each his own. But, you know, I'm happy where I'm at. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly, man. So I, I'm just keeping a book and I keep it real with everybody, dog. I'm, I try to be funny in my videos to keep it entertaining. I am a goofball like that. My wife hates it, but she knows that's just me. That's my energy. My energy is always to be positive and shit like that. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm always positive. I, I always try to be as positive as I can be, dog. And I try to pass that on to my kids, to everybody. You know what I mean? So it's just it's just some sometimes... People get shit missed and screwed, and yes, PR Sneak 23, yep, that's the homie right there. So, um, yeah, I met him a few times in, in the uh, sneaker events in Miami. Shout out to AJ for, you know, AJ's opening doors for your boy, man. So that's why you'll see AJ on my videos. We'll be in Tampa next week, next weekend, so stay tuned for that too as well. Another banger v- a video too as well. We're going to be at Sneaker Travelers, so... You know, it's just shit like that. Is like I, I the oh, way my you're channel. You're hitting that sneaker travels in Tampa. Yeah, yeah, in Tampa. So you know, it is the way the channel's going right now. I never thought that it would do that because you know I do have a speech problem. You know what I mean? I do like stutter and shit like that. No, I don't have Tourette's. By the way, I just have a stuttering peach a speech problem. That's about it. But. Isn't no, Tourette's isn't Tourette's when you screaming out though? Yeah, like Tourette's is like when you're like, yo, man, the fuck shit cock boss. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you yo, know, can you imagine, bro, being a YouTuber with Tourette's? Tony, bro, like it's crazy. I, I'm about to throw some low key low subliminal shots, and I don't give a fuck if he responds to it or not. Like motherfuckers out here be re fucking retarded, bro. Like real, real talk. And I don't know, bro. I'm just gonna be quiet, bro. I think it's best for me to be quiet. <laughs> don't do it, Taz. Don't do it, bro. <laughs> I think it's best for me to be quiet because I got a little bit of handy in me. <laughs> let's, let's take another <laughs> shot. I, I, I'm not a drinker, dog, but the handy the handy makes me feel good, makes me feel right, gives me good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we're almost done, bro. We got at least like four more shots in that. Yo, bro, that fucking that Netflix series is rough, bro. It is rough, bro. And yeah, yeah I've been like my just mentally just been trying to like take it all in because I, I started watching it like a night ago and then uh into last night, and then this morning I finished off at the last episode, and I was just like, geez, man, it's just it's just sad, bro. You know what I'm saying? That many people had the opportunity to save that little boy, you know what I'm saying? And sh- nobody, you know what I'm saying? Shit. And and some of them just had really dumb excuses, man. There was one lady that couldn't do anything because uh, she wasn't allowed to do overtime on a Friday. And I'm just like, what? What? For real? Overtime on a fucking Friday? Like, come on, man. That shit's crazy. Yo, shout out to fucking Netflix, though, bro. Netflix been coming with that fucking heat, bro. Yeah, they have. Because I was just looking right now. They have another one that I that I got my eye on. The uh, So they have one that I was kind of like kind of briefing on is the uh, the I am a killer. I am a killer. Yeah, I am a killer. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of uh, 
a whole bunch of stories stories yeah so that that looks yeah, pretty yeah. dope i saw the first episode and shit but uh that one and then the um panicking or some shit like that panicking or uh, hold on let me find it it's about the virus and shit like that like it talks about viruses and like them trying to come up with a cure for like the, it was like the time for the ebola and all that shit my wife was watching it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. I remember the cover had like the people in a suit with like orange or yellow gloves on or some shit like that. They were talking about like the, the virus outbreak that happened in the US. Damn, I wish my wife was awake right now. Mm. Did it did it drop recently? I'm not sure. I because usually that should be at the top. Let me tell you this why 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 you looking for that? But um some of at least some to me, if you haven't caught wind of any of these, this is what has consumed my time for at least the last month, month and a half, bro. Uh I am killer, which is the one that tops mentioned. Don't fuck with cats, bro. If you haven't seen that, oh my well, god, bro, well worth the watch, bro. I'm telling you, it's bro, that, Just give you it a put little me bit. On. You Did put I me put on, on that? that one. Yeah, you put me on on that one. Don't fuck with cats. And then they took. There's another one that is somewhat similar to that. And I, I think also you put me on on that one too as well. I'm looking at my watch. Continue watch list. Well, the other ones are the 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 mind of Aaron Hernandez, obviously. To me, yeah, I saw that one. Great. But I I do recommend that if you watch that one, there is another documentary of Aaron Hernandez that dropped not too long after that, but it's not with Netflix. I believe it's with ABC, and it's worth watching both of them because they actually cover two different things. One covers the trial where he killed the dude, and then he got arrested for that, and then the other one covers the shit he was doing in college. Uh, Evil Genius. If anyone hasn't seen Evil Genius. Yeah, Evil Genius. I saw that shit uh, with the collar bomb. Well, yes, bro. That yeah. shit is fucking it's crazy, crazy, right, bro? Bro, the fact that that like every shit that they bring up, you're like, what the fuck? Have you noticed that all these documentary uh, documentaries they have an uh, like a gay issue, like the person or the 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 yeah, yeah there is there is. Like, they all have like some type of gay issue and it's like holy fuck like what the fuck all right what are you trying to tell me here you know what i mean yeah um another one did you ever uh did you ever get to watch uh making a murderer making a murderer hell yeah that that show is yeah. dope that one's good and then the other one that a lot of people at least when i asked them they haven't uh, but I did give it some time and I watched it completely through and it actually was really good was the disappearance of Madeline McCain. I haven't watched that one, but they told me that one and the one that Alexander brought up, which is the watcher. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Is it here? No, I don't see it here. Okay. Making a murderer is a fucking crazy show. So I follow the bitch on Twitter, the lawyer. I do too. Yeah. yeah and you know, they, they was they they had some shit popping off like a month or two ago. Uh, where they had gotten some information, information. like that, yeah. That's just bananas. He's he's gonna come back out again, and he's gonna fuck that town up bad, bad once again. I don't think so, bro. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna be able to get out. They 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 have to that, let him out. That, that town that town's fucked him over, bro. Like that town's pretty much fucked him out of a lot of years, bro. So when he comes out, just think about it. He won the first time suing them. And he definitely has a case now, you know what I'm saying? By this time, the 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 issue with his nephew is definitely uh, uh, an issue where they coerced him. I didn't understand that, bro, how they kept the fucking nephew, bro. As much coercion as you see in them tapes and still somehow, some way. Because he spoke. Because he spoke. Yeah. You know, because since he spoke and said what he said on the uh, interviews with the police, Bro, you could tell easy that he got fucking like, like, hey, like this is what really went on. This is it, yeah, and he's right. like, bro, like I thought, I thought I was by saying the truth they were gonna let me out because that's what they told me. You know what I mean? 
So they, they knew the kid had issues, you know? So it's like, fuck, it was easy. It was a no-brainer for them. But I think he's going to end up coming out too as well because that's a different kind of case right there. Because they're going to find that like, yo, this kid had nothing to fucking do with it. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, because I, I think it was make, making a murderer and then also as well the uh, another show that I, one, one show that I'm going to recommend you guys not to watch, the movie, How High 2, Trash. And Bench Warmer 2, Trash as fuck too as well. Don't watch none of those two. <laughs> the Iverson documentary is fucking badass. And the Arrow, I never got to finish watching it, but it was it had pretty good, like it was pretty dope. I like that one. But definitely, like uh, a Gringo, Gringo, was good too. Uh, which one was a Gringo? Gringo. El Gringo. Oh yes, Gringo, that the, is guy the one. That, the guy that lives in that moved to Panama and um, he's a famous person. Yeah, the guy that invented the uh, anti the antivirus. The antivirus, yeah. That's crazy. Yo, fucking Netflix is doing a thing, bro. I remember when Netflix was just a fucking little piece of shit, no big deal type deal, and now shit, everybody that I know has fucking Netflix. Yeah, Danielle, just put uh, just put Iverson on Netflix and it'll come out. Put Iverson on net. Netflix is always um. Drop like good, like good shit to me. I remember when Netflix, you would just go online, order the DVD, and it'll ship it to your house. Yeah, ship it to you, yeah. El gringo. Bro, I'm trying to find that documentary about the fucking viruses and shit. That shit is crazy as fuck. Like the way they broke it down and like people not getting because it's like shit that's going on now. Like, so the Trump administration is not giving funds. To the people, for they can do the uh, the research on this coronavirus, because motherfuckers are showing up here to the to the United States, and they're just telling them to stay at the house for fucking fourteen days or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like, they don't have an actual place to do like quarantine, like Canada, uh, cool. it, you know, other places like that. Like, fuck, that's crazy, dog. Like, mother, like shit is shit is getting crazy, but at the same time. I felt like there is some type of cure out there, and I feel like that's Lysol, a can of Lysol. So definitely, I recommend people to buy a can of Lysol. It says it on the back that it kills coronavirus. That coronavirus shit is out of control, bro. No problem, uh, Henry. Here you go. Yeah. That one's going to stay up for another 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I gotta watch that one, screw. But yeah, man, fucking that's the that's the shit that's fucking coming up soon over here, bro. Um shit, I can't wait until fucking Zaya goes live. Cause you know the, the man can run a show, dog. Either we like it or not. The, the, even if you don't like him or not, bro, like y'all watch. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker is entertaining, bro. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. You know. Because, uh, you know, shout out to everybody that is involved. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you guys do make it entertaining for everybody. Because the fuck shit has been selling, like, really, really good on YouTube. And it's always been like that. You know what I mean? Shit, it's fucking dope. We have 47 people here at one point, bro. That's dope. I never had that many people. Dog, you need to be on the live more often, bro. Bro, you already know, bro. Whenever, whenever, whenever. Even when, even when my shit goes live, like the thing is, is that like with the live, like it's it's come a long way from when I was doing YouTube years ago, bro. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> it's, it, it, it's not, it, it's better now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't mind going live. I like being live. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, it's, uh, listen, it be me that be wanting to go like extra long lives, but I be. I be kind of feeling bad for like the people that have to come back on like a playback. Like playback's got to be insane. I know people got so, shit. To do. Yeah, but you got to think about it. Like YouTube has that cool ass feature because you know if you look at your watch time on your regular videos and you'll yeah. see that the the average watch time is like three to 
two and a half minutes to three and a half minutes. Yeah. And it's because people are skipping that shit. Bum, 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 bum. You know what I'm saying? Until they feel like they're getting to the good part. And uh, the good thing about the uh, the good thing about the live when they're on their cell phone, the majority of the people that are watching, I, I want to say a good 88% of the people that are watching YouTube watch it on their cell phone. So when they skip it, they're they're paying attention to the live chat. Yeah, and, it makes sense. So to the live chat. So once they see that. Like, cause even if you're a moderator and you're catching a, a playback, you can't see like what got removed and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the sucky part. You see, that's why I never really liked that. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Hell yeah! You should get this to work, bro. Yo, shit! The world's favorite Dominicano. <laughs> I, should just, I should just have me laying in a fucking plate of fucking salchichón. Guess hey, so. frito. <laughs> hey, tell Jules to mark this one down for me. <laughs> yo, yo, no lie, bro. Like, Jules must have fell asleep or some shit because she left her phone right there. Really? Yeah, and she don't never leave without her phone. Check her DMs, cuz. Oh, hell no, bro. <laughs> hell no, bro. Only because I'm the type that I would, not that I'm hiding anything, but like, I don't like that shit done to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Like that's one thing. My wife, she does not go through my phone or yeah. nothing, bro. And I have nothing to hide. She she knows what's up. I have nothing to hide. Like she tells me, "Hey, give me your phone so I can search something because my daughter's using her phone." You know, yeah. so like I I give her like I give it to her. She knows the passcode. She knows everything. You know what I'm saying? I know it's my privacy and shit, but it's still like she's like, "Yo, that's your privacy." But like if she ever asks for it to do whatever to look up something or whatever, I can give it to her. Like and there's there's shit on my phone that like I know they'll probably like throw be like damn look at all these girls you follow on Instagram yeah but they hoochies though I never I'll never get with a bitch like that they won't, they won't pay attention yeah, like, to a guy like me you know them's is the hoochies on the internet man like that's a big difference you know I go at the end of the day you're the best thing I've ever had dale you know as long as you talk to them the sweet talk boy you good bro. Hey, so soon your boy will be probably uh, bringing in uh, uh, the Jordan 4 Air Max collaboration. Have you seen that? Nah, hell no. Nah. So they just gave us official images on it. This shoe is fire, Zaya. You like fours, right? I love fours. Same here. Look at these shoes, bro. Oh, I, I remember pictures of this, but I thought that this was like a mock-up by some dude on Instagram. Yeah, so this is a a, a uh, official pictures. Yeah, these are the official pictures. My boy AJ already got a GS pair. He got a GS pair that they sent to him because he, he signed to Jordan brand, so or the trophy room. But look at that midsole, bro. They even got the material, so it's inspired by Air Max ninety five. Damn, those are nice, bro. It got three M hits on the back. The shoelaces are three M. Uh, shout out to Fine Line. Fine Line got a a, a a review on him. Damn, already? Yo, yeah, have you yeah. done business with Fine Line? Nah, because his prices are up there, bro. Yeah. But, but uh, you know, that's why I just wait for my plug, bro, to be honest with you. Because at the end of the day, like, if I bring you a shoe that's a month early, it won't do views. It won't do views, bro. It won't. You gotta have a following like Tony D and and Board RC and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. In order for that 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 review to do do numbers for you, but like somebody like me, this shit is not in the search algorithm yet. Mm. So, you know, like, and you could tell because my Jordan Three video, the UNC, had more views than the Pine Greens, and I dropped the Pine Greens first. And then as the Pine Greens got closer to release date, that shit just went. Oh, so shit. that that video right there is like got 3,000 views right now. But this is definitely, I'm bringing this shit early. And no matter what, I'm going to try to bring that shit early to the channel. Um, That yeah. shit right there is fire. The box, though? What's on the toe box? Is that Bro, the toe box? Everything's like a new book. All that? Like oh, book. Okay. But this, this shoe. That darker gray. Not the. Not yeah. Also, that one right there. That's new buck too. Yeah, it's new buck. There's new buck on the on the midsole. The only rubber part is this right here, right here around the mud guard and the uh of the midsole. Yeah, like that area right there, bro. It's like, oh my 
God, bro. So AJ sent me pictures of his GS pairs because they thought it was going to fit his wife, but it was too small. He has a size four. And, bro, the quality on the shoe is just straight up fire. Now, this shoe is going to be a GR. Just letting everybody know it's going to be available. It might be a shoe they'll sit, but it's just a fire shoe. That wouldn't be that bad. Cast that shit on the back end. Yeah, bro. This shoe is fucking fire. The 3M. I'm a sucker for 3Ms, gum bottoms, shit like that. I like that. I like the shoe. I like the shoe with detail, story, an actual story behind it. Yo, I'm inspired by a fucking 95 Air Max. And the reason why they're doing this is because it's Air Max, Air, Max, uh, Air Max month. Yeah. So, yeah, I wanted to bring that up. Definitely is a, a dope, dope shoe. See, it's a full family run, like, you know, gray school and, and men's yeah. pair. Um, This got pushed back to April. April 4th is going to be the release of the DMP sixes. See, don't tell me. I watch. It says March here, but it got pushed back to uh, April. So when I went to go pick up my pair of pine greens at the store, I'm cool with the manager at Hibbit Sports. They've been kind of giving Hibbit Sports a kind of buzz about me and shit like that, you know? Nice. So uh, um, so she was telling me, she's like, yo, Tops, you know, just letting you know we're getting the DMP sixes. And I know you really like that shoe because I've heard, heard you talk about it on your videos and shit. We're getting them April 4th. I go, so that's the official release day, and she showed me the paperwork. Because, you know, all these stores, that they have a paper of what's coming out. Yeah. So they're def- April 4th is going to be the release day, official release day on these. So these are fire, bro. These are a must cop. I'm not a, I'm not a six fan. Bro, sixes are the best, bro. To me? Hell no, nah, bro. To me? Hell no. Nah. Threes, fours. This shoe right here, the PNG sixes are better to me. Are better than the infrareds, Damn. just because of the color blocking. The color blocking on this shoe, bro, straight up fire, G. Like you know, for me the threes, fours, and twelves and thirteens. So mine are are elevens, fours, and sixes. And certain sevens, like the Barcelona days and nights, these are, to me, are like one of the best sevens out. One of the best seven outs. The sevens. You got the day and the nights. These are fire just the way the color blocking is. Um, Jordan 1 lows, like the SB kinds. No fat tongue. I hate fat tongues. I, I can't stand the new version of the Jordan 1 lows. So. Zay, I'm going to send you something to the phone. So I, I'm going to tell you about the project that. Uh, so, you, so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is my conversation with the homie. And just look up the name on Instagram. Um, uh, April fourth are the are the is the scheduled release date. Damn, Daniel, you like seventeens? You know, seventeens is like a hit or miss. It all depends on the on the colorway. And thirteens, I fuck with the thirteens because they're comfortable, bro. No, these are not the. Uh, those are the Barcelonas. Both of them, the day and nights. We got AL in the building, or it's Al, sorry. Al. Are you, are you looking at it? Yeah. That's crazy. Right? I was not expecting that. And it's it's funny to to then you go on the Instagram and you look around and then you notice that oh shit he, you know he 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 got some he got some gems on feet and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. So he's a you know he hit me up. He's like, yo, I'm a fan. You know, I watched your video. 
this and that. And I was like, what? Like, I was like, me? Me? <laughs> Out of all people? Sure. So I was like, dope. So, you know, I, stay tuned, y'all. It's going to be lit, bro. It's going to be lit. Yeah, so Calvin, the uh, DMP6 is April April 4th. Damn, one more month? Yeah, pretty much, bro. So be patient. Be patient, bro, because um, you you that's to let you know that that shit's going to be every, everywhere. You big time tops. Yeah, I'm trying to be, bro. 13 threes, fours, and fives, and... 15s see i me with fives because i'm a size 13 bro they fit i think i tried them on before and i like i tried to cop the michigans and the uh laney's the laney's fives and bro i was like that tongue though you know what i'm saying like excuse me the off-white fives were perfect but you know your boy took an l on those Yes, I do like 13 lows, Beatles. I think I like pretty much every silhouette that's low. I'm a low top kind of guy. Shout out to my size 13 gains. The twos too. There's twos out there that I that I that I f- fuck with heavy. So if we go over to Shock X, so I believe they're called the Chicago Twos, uh, Lows. Those are just fire. The ones that drop in twenty eight, bro. Those shoes are just fire. Oh my god, I can thug that shoot out. Like crazy. That's a good beer to drink, bro. Really? Uh, yeah, because it's low on carbs. Jules' sister had a baby shower today, and I guess Jules' sister was on. Uh, she was the one that chose the beer, and I don't think she's uh, a good beer tr- chooser because nobody drank them. So Jules brought a ton of these shits home. So yeah, these two, these two lows right here, I fucks with these, and and the uh, the red ones too as well. The Jim Reds. Yeah, I uh, hate twos, bro. Twos are so horrible. And the UNC colorway too, as well. The six lows, nah, you can't, you can't, bro. Oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? Like, bro. The chromes, oh my god, I need that shoe so bad, but I'm so scared because that shoe's uh, new bug, right? So my fear is on the new bug. The new bug starts peeling at one point as the shoe is DS. So the best way to buy that shoe is used, but it has that icy bottom. So it's like, nah, I'm straight. But this shoe right here is just fire. Pissy. Huh? That if you get them used, they're probably going to be pissy on the bottom. Yeah, exactly, dog. But this shoe, you got to buy DS. And if I'm going to pull the trigger, I got to pull the trigger this year because, you know, and they're asking two two twenty seven. Let me see my size. Two thirty five, two fifteen. Oh wow, is the is the was that the last sale? Two fifteen. Shit, I'll I'll pay that. Also, too, as well the uh, the ghost greens. These are so sick, dog. Like, this is Miami vibe right here. This shoe right here is Miami vibe. Don't lace them up. Like, you just thug them out. Leave them loose. Woo! You already know. I get the... Uh, those make me want to uh, start hunting down the Sprites. The LeBron 8 Sprites. Oh, my God. That shoe... I had that shoe. I beat the fuck out of it. I bought them together with the... with Because the, the LeBron Sprites... I always forget what number. LeBron are the folks. The ones that came in the Vogue colorway, could it be the tens? It might be, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, Yeah. 
these right here. Oh, I couldn't hear you. Oh, that's my fault. Oh. <laughs> yeah, these yeah. Are tens, right? yeah, the 10 and the 8, bro, oh, are the best. Yeah, so the Sprite 10 lows are the, the bomb. All right, since you guys know a little bit about vintage, I don't know if C-Vlog is here. I know he's, like, very good with vintage. So I went to the to the to the uh, Goodwill, and I found this soccer jersey, Pepsi. I saw it on eBay. I saw they were going for like twenty some dollars. I paid six dollars for it. Nice. And then also to a well, I saw a lot of shit that had to do with like nine eleven. Oh, that's fire right there. You know, and it has the graphics. It looks like it's DS too. What size is that? Um, large. Nice. I paid three dollars for it, and then also too as well, like shit like this. Yo, someone hit me up not too long ago. Tell me how crazy this is. Someone hit me up not too long ago. They said they went into the Goodwill and they were thrifting. And they found my first original merch shirt that I ever put out. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard about that shit. So that you know what I'm saying? Hey, and hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. And this shit's found by someone that fucks with the channel. I was like, "What the hell? For real? She's crazy." I wonder what they're going for, though. In all honesty, let me see. Them, Le them, them LeBron sprites gotta be. Bro, so I, I was looking at these shirts, dog. Like these shits are DS. Like they're not. They're not, they're brand new. Yeah. And this one. And this one's a two X. I paid two dollars for it. And it's never underestimate the power of. I thought I said. A frosty. Get the fuck out. Nah, but <laughs> so I thought that was dope, dog. So if anybody uh knows about anything about this, this is actually my size. And I noticed too because it was uh double stitched. So it has double stitching. So I know it's an old school t shirt. You know what I'm saying? So, and I can't tell the year of the t-shirt, but these shirts were DS, bro. And and it had this tag on the back of it, this tag right here. It's a Fruit of the Loom, but it still has the sticker from when they bought it and shit. So, this shirt is DS. This one's 2X. So my question is, how do you approach shit like that? Like, like, what do you what do you go for shit like that? Like to sell it? Oh, to sell it, shit. That's been a game that I've never been able to master, bro. <laughs> Cause I see you post pictures on IG of some vintage shit. I promise you that when I go through there, I just look for shit that I think is fly. Right. Yeah, facts. I don't look like there's like a system to it, and you got to look at like the stitching and. The tags and what they look like, and so I know this shit's old as fuck because that shit don't even have a size on it or nothing. Right. So I looked that tag up on eBay, and this jersey came up. 
Mm. So if we if we were to go on eBay, shout out to Al, man. I'm eating the pork chops that I made for Jules for her to take to lunch today, and she didn't take it. She took it, and she came back with it. I'm like, girl, give me my fucking pork chops back, man. <laughs> Yo, that baby shower looked like it was litty, bro. It was. It was. Jules ain't even tell me. I felt like there was like a dress code out that bitch. And here you go. I'm showing up in fucking shorts, a Nike top, hat. But it was dope, man. Good food. Nah, that shit don't come up. I think I had put Pepsi soccer jersey or some shit like that. I think that's a that's a uh, a clear indication when you fat when you humming while you eat. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. There's fucking baseball jerseys. Soccer jerseys, and they're all like vintage, like type shit. Pre owned twenty eight dollars, fifty dollars, twenty seven dollars, one hundred and seven dollars for a basketball jersey. Yeah, it's crazy. This jersey right here is going for thirty, thirty, thirty dollars, like brand new. Like the same one that looks like this. All right, I'm posting these shits up on eBay tomorrow. Fuck that. I bought a thousand time I didn't pull, pull out <laughs> and I ended up having babies. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, bro. They ain't play crazy, bro. You know what? Somebody told me about that, Alexander. Just sell it on, uh, um, on like different apps like that. Macari for me used to be popping like when it first started. After that, man, that shit went kind of downhill, and I barely get sales on Macari now. Macari, Macari. You know, what site, you know what? You know what site, bro? Like. But I don't even bother no more, bro. Like that shit went totally downhill. No sales, no nothing. With Kixify. Oh yeah. How? Yeah. I've heard. I've heard about it, like on YouTube and shit like that. People talking about it or whatever, and and also too. Uh, oh, that is platform trash, bro. Someone put me on game. Uh, shit. I haven't seen him in a minute. Wave God. Do you remember that name? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a minute. And he's the one that put me on this shit, on this uh, app here. It's like an offer up, but for like just strictly like streetwear and sneakers. Maybe if you if you can say a popular name, because I I, I have so many apps on my phone, dog, that is not even funny. I'll be deleting my shit. Is it Postmate? No, that's the ordering dinner shit. Um. Uh, the the Patreon? No, that's uh, no, that's the YouTube shit. Pre the Patreon. Bro, you know that 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 technically is the most classic line on that song, and that was to me. <laughs> oh my god, nigga, that shit is a classic, bro. Shout out to Ron, bro. I I was actually on his live chat today. Postmark, yes. Shout out, bro. Alexander always hits it, bro. I love when this man is on the chat, bro. The He's the legend. If I ever make it big in the YouTube streets, bro, I'm buying this motherfucker pair off whites, bro. Mm. And now. If I ever make it in this game, bro, I'm definitely buying that nigga fucking a pair off whites. But, bro, people be taxing on that app, G. Hold on. Did I delete that shit? Because I can't find it. Hold on, let me look at my app store to see if it's actually downloaded or not.
Zaya, bro. So yeah, I had I had it downloaded, but yeah, I'm gonna re-download that shit. Uh then he whooped. Did anybody see that scary movie, The Boy or whatever? Oh yeah. Off white crocs. <laughs> yeah, you talking about that that movie, The Boy? Too? Yeah, yeah. So I seen part one, but it's been a minute, and that's the kind of movie I watch during the day. What? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be scared, tops. No, it's not that scared. Though. It's just the thought. Like the brain is weird. You know what I'm saying? That shit have you like spook and shit. Like you know, motherfuckers be on the chat and says, "Yo, tops, look behind you." Dog. That should be creeping me out. Dog. <laughs> Yo, Jules does this thing that fucking pisses me off all the time. She'll come to talk to me and she'll look past me. And it makes me think that there's something behind me and I always get scared, bro. <laughs> For real. I always feel like it's like a spot. So, like, here's a here's a little fact about Zaya, bro. Like, I'm, I, I'm not into, like, insects or anything like that. The shit fucking creeps me out. One of the things that creeps me out, definitely 100%. And if it gets in the house, I will gladly take my ass back home. Frogs. I don't fuck with frogs, bro. When a frog gets in here, Jules be asking for help to try to get it out. I'd be like, I'm out. You know why, bro? Because you're body, bro. Yeah, I don't like frogs, man. And that's like your, your main animal. It's the frogs. Lucky I've gotten her uh, her youngest son like acquainted with just catching it. So we'll get like a Tupperware and shit, and he'll catch it for me and shit. And then we'll go, we'll release it like down the block by a pond or something. But it's like, nah, in the house, I'm out. Don't have that nigga touch them toes or anything like that. Nah, hell no, hell no. Y'all get y'all get a lot of black snakes out there? Um, garden snakes. Like what, the green ones? Um, no, they black, but they real small. Really? Yeah, there was one in the house the other day, and it was like a baby, bro, like like stupid small. Over there at Drew's house? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Because we see a lot of the, the black snakes. The other day, I was driving by, going to get the boys and shit from school, and I had to stop because there was like a little family of deer crossing. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, we get a lot of deers out here, too, as well. Yeah, dog, check this out, bro. So I be working on the AC units and shit, and the motherfuckers be creeping through my leg, like underneath the leg and shit. What? Uh, yeah, look, watch. I'm so glad that Jules brought that fucking portrait back home. That should hit the spot right now. Oh, hell yeah. Bro, like uh pieces of like lechon, uh chicharrón is Ooh. a good it's a good thing to eat. For real? Yeah, chicharrón is one of the best things to eat. Get out of here. Like the hard one or like the the yeah, the chicha any chicharrón. Any chicharrón, bro. Really? Yeah, bro. The problem is when you fry the chicharrón, they they um it doesn't absorb the grease. It actually releases grease. Oh, so that's the good thing about it. And if, they, if let's say, if, if Jules was to buy, like, the pieces at the grocery store, like crudo, and she chops it up and fries it on her own, tell her to, to fry it with, with olive oil. Mm. Or if to just fry it on its own, just place it on there. It creates its own. It's like bacon. Okay, you got me hungry as a motherfucker now, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I didn't realize I got so many fucking pictures here. Bro, like these black motherfucking snakes are like that thick, pause, and probably like about a good God like, damn. You know? Why are they like, so big though? Bro, because they be eating them fucking rats out here, bro. So those are the best snakes to have around. Like I don't kill them motherfuckers. I let them be. Because they don't they don't do nothing to you. They don't they don't attack you or nothing. They actually run away from you. Damn, where's that shit? I, I was just looking at it today. Bro, but when I first moved here, bro, I was like, snakes? Nigga, I never seen a snake before in my life. Like on the ground, I've always seen them in a fucking tank. Oh shit. Like pythons and shit. Nah, these motherfuckers are slithering yeah, around. Careful, because them snakes, they be trying to get high up on, like, the bushes and shit. Oh, and yeah. I used to do cable. They would tell you, yo, pay attention, because uh, 
you'll you'll be turning a corner and that shit'll be at fucking face length with you. Cause it'll be up in the fucking bush and shit. So over here we got mobile parks, a lot of mobile parks, like high end mobile parks. And when I go underneath it to see what's going on, like with the AC duck work and shit, fucking a motherfucker would just be creeping like that, like across your shoulder. You're like, what the fuck? <sighs> well, you at first you're trying to figure out what kind of snake is it. You know what I mean? I feel bad for any house I ever went to that I needed to crawl in a crawl space in order to fix your cable. I more than likely figured out a way to get out the job for real yeah i'm like uh i'm claustrophobic so not, you saw not, that? i'm not claustrophobic like where a doctor has told me but in you just know because you start your breathing starts getting no, fucked yeah, up and, know. and the thing is like like i'm a grown man like not too many things scare me and i'm looking at that hole that i gotta go in and i'm looking under and the end looks like it's fucking 20 miles away, bro. You know what I'm saying? I start sweating and shit. I'm like, nah, I can't do this, bro. All right. So imagine me, dog. Like, I'm 6'4", over 250 pounds, right? Imagine me in a fucking attic. I'm going to find a picture, too, as well. I got a bunch of pictures here in my computer. Yo, we used to have big dudes, bro. Big dudes, bro. Try to get in an attic. Oh, my God. I remember one dude fucking uh, passed out, fell through the fucking ceiling, landed on the lady's fucking coffee table right in front of her. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some shit happen like that. I so <laughs> one time, one time in the summer, it, I had to go like deep into the attic. So the attic access is in the garage, and I had to go to the master bedroom is in the other side. Yeah. And the attic was pretty open, but I felt suffocated. And I had to, I pushed, I like, I literally felt so bad that I was like, fuck that shit. I don't give a fuck. And I just poked my foot, boom, 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 until I broke the the ceiling. And all the insulation yeah. caved down and everything. There's nobody home because we're seasonal here. Yeah. So a lot of these, a lot of these houses are empty in the summertime. Shit. So, uh, yeah, dog, I, I just did that so I can get air. And I called my boss right away and I told him, I'm like, yo, uh, I just put my foot through a ceiling. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. He said, "Damn, <laughs> how big is the hole?" I was like, eh, "It's pretty decent. <laughs> it's pretty decent." He's like, "Damn, for real?" I'm like, "Yeah, look at your phone and send you a picture." And he's like, "Fuck, all right, I'll send Jose over there." <laughs> so Jose, Jose comes, he measures the piece he needs, and he goes and fucking. Buys the drywall at Home Depot and fucking he went and patched it. Comes back the next day and fucking covers the hole. But that that shit that shit's scary, nigga. The last thing you want to do is die in a fucking attic. Yo, and that's happened before. Yeah, plenty of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of and, stories about. And, it. and out of Florida too, I think. Bro, I think like, da Miguel, bro. I've always wanted to bring this up. Miguel calls me Theo, right? Yeah, I got, a, I got a homeboy of mine in Miami that calls me uh, Theo Bibi. Theo Bibi. Theo Bibi. Because I always got a fucking pee. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Bro, where the fuck is this snake at, G? God damn. Bro, you're going to see this. I'm almost there. Like, look, nigga, this is my backyard. Look, watch. This is my backyard where I used to live at. I'll not because I don't live there no more. Look at this shit. Fucking eagle. Fucking eagle right there. <laughs> Just chilling. Yeah. See, it's my people that at work and shit. It's my boss. My wife, my boss's wife, and my dog Hugh. He's a Yeezy fanatic, bro. That right. man loves Yeezys, bro. Hold on, because there might be a dick pic around here and shit. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Might be a dick pic around here, bro. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hold on, bro. Hey, and then where I, that house right there, I found a snake. I found a snake that's yellow, and it was considered a rare breed for our area. Oh, shit. Donnell Blake, man. Hit that like button, bro. So there was a yellow snake, bro, and the nigga that caught that shit made $5,000 off that snake and charged me $68 to get the snake. What the hell? Bro, it's crazy shit. I was like, are you fucking shitting me, bro? And the guy told me straight up. He was straight up. He's like, yo, I'm going to make like five grand off this fucking snake, bro. <laughs> I just realized what kind of snake it was. See. Uh, uh, Daniel Blake, I'm going to have to disagree. Nope. Ain't no dick pic from me floating anywhere. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I don't have no dick pictures. Yeah, I don't. I, I I've never shit. And all the females that I've messed with, I don't think I've ever sent any female no dick pic, bro. I sent plenty of dick pics in my life. Oh no. I said plenty, but hey, you know, each his own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Each his own because you know, like to me, dick pics is just like a a, a, a selfie, you know, <laughs> of your, of a, your... a selfie of the other brain, <laughs> a, a selfie of who's running the ship. Shit, yeah, you know, because that's the brain us niggas use the most. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit. Like, well, you know, we're we're talking a lot lately. Let me just go on and introduce you to the boss. Bro, so let me ask you a question. Who, who, everybody in here speaks Spanish, right? I would think most. There's some people that don't. <laughs> yo, yo Daniel, Daniel Blake, how how long you been with your lady, man? How long? How long have you been with your lady? Because if your lady asking for fucking dick pics from you during the day, bro, she's a real one, bro. Keep her. Yeah, for real, bro. She's that, a that shit runs dude. out, bro. Like, I can't see motherfuckers being together 10 years talking about, yo, mommy, what you doing? Yo, uh, check your phone. Nigga, if I send a dick, dick pic, <laughs> if if I send a dick pic to my wife today's age, bro, I'll never hear the end of it. What bro, you should do it, bro. Doing? You should just do it middle of the day. Be like, yo, I'm in a hot attic. But oh, nigga. He what, <laughs> what I found up here. I found some gold up here. She can be like, really? Be like, yo, I found some shit up here. Oh, my God. Send me a picture. Yo, I'm going to send you a picture right now. <laughs> Duh, I know you love this picture right here. I love that picture, bro. I love that picture. My my cousin that. sent me that one. He's like, hey, what do you think? I was like, for you, nigga, that motherfucker is scary as fuck to me, nigga. <laughs> but that, that's the two legends right there that did Joker. Now, don't get me wrong, bruh. Ledger, you know, RIP, but, bruh, you can't leave out this new Joker. No way. I, I, I haven't seen it yet, bro. I, I need right. to see that shit. Bruh, it's going to sound stupid. But to my defense, I have a Regal uh, card. I have a Regal setup where uh, it's unlimited movies for $20 a month. I've seen Joker eight times. Damn. <laughs> Did, did I ever did I ever show you these Zayas? These are uh, the Chinese New Year's twelves. Uh no. Nah. Let me check this out. So, so I, I did a video on these like when I first started doing sneaker YouTube. Oh, those are nice. Those are really nice. Is that the one where that's the one where you have to design that? You gotta Re take that shit Yeah, off. you remove the, the cloth on it, yeah. Nice. I just have patience for shit like this, bro. This is sick. Yeah, fucking dope. People love this video, bro. I had like 200 subs with that video. It gave me like 3,000 of views on it. Nice. Pretty dope. Shit, your boy might have to do something crazy out here. Might have to go into Walmart and just take a shit in the middle of Walmart, bro, to get some subscribers out my way. You're probably going to have to, bro, to be honest with you. In all honesty, bro, like I'm going to have to do something. I'm not, I'm not going to just be able to get on here and fuck around. I <laughs> Miguel says, sorry, Tops, they trash. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
Yo, shout out to Perm. Yeah, bro. That's why I've seen it so many times. I feel like every time I see something different. And no lie, like by the eighth time, like I really had to chill because I was just like, yo, like I'm going to end up doing some crazy shit watching this fucking movie. I feel like that movie was like almost hypnotizing in a way. There's like certain music in there, bro. I'll tell you this. And th- this should tell you how uh, how crazy uh, that movie had me, bro. Like I downloaded the soundtrack. And I actually listened to the soundtrack, bro. And let me tell you something. The soundtrack's pretty fucking spooky, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like all the different instrumentals and shit. There, there's I, I used to be fans of movie soundtracks. Yeah. Especially like my favorite, like the favorite this movie I like to watch. It's like a lot of mood, like mood related music. It's supposed to like change your mood from one change your mood from one scene to the next and shit. And, it's an amazing movie, bro. So I definitely, I definitely want to get another Joker piece because I got a Joker, a Joker piece that I want to put up soon. But I want to get another Joker piece of uh, the newest edition. Yo, Big Perm says, "Hey, you're gonna have to do Chicken Andy shit, bro." I'm already preparing for it, bro. Uh, listen. I found I found this phone that I'm not using. I don't I don't know why. Like I I guess when Jules when when Jules got me my new phone, I just kind of put this shit one this one away and I never I never fucked with it. And it's and you have a rose gold too. Yeah yeah, it's really good condition, bro. Like I'm about to just go like live streaming, live streaming, bro. Like like real live streaming. Go like a whole day just being out and about, just streaming everywhere I go. Run that fucking watch time up. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna have to, G, because bro, that was one of uh shit. The first thing I got was the watch time. Yeah, the watch time is gonna be the first thing you get. The subscribers is gonna be a little hard. You know what I'm saying? The first thing I got was the watch time. It's because I went live at least twice a week. Yeah. I went live twice a week, and bro, that shit helped me out big time. Lives give you watch time of the ass. Yo, Retro said, I was thinking pull up to Quilly's banger shop for a shape up. Subs no. quarantined. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, Big Perm. He's uh, They're all by one composer. Uh, and that's the composer right there. So the whole album is made by one artist? Yeah, it's from one composer. Bro, that's white people language to me, bro. Composer. Yeah, it's a it's 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 actually really good though. Like really good music. Like should be having my whole fucking shit fucking twisted and shit. Not in a bad way. Like the music like really gets you into like good thoughts and shit. Oh shit, Daniel Blake. You know what I'm saying? That might be more affordable to do to get some subs, man. You think if we what? just do some lines of coke and shit right on the fucking live stream, motherfuckers oh, will sub up. Bro, you talk it's shit. Whoa, 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 Henry. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? There's a 10 inch joker. Well, Funko? Yeah. I might get back into Funkos, in all honesty, if I if I but I again my I <laughs> nothing would change from what was the past. Like I, I only collect the bad guys. I'm not interested in any of the uh, the good guys, uh, but I definitely want to pick up more Jokers, bro. There's definitely a bunch of Jokers that I'd like to pick up. I have to jump on eBay and see. Let me see. Hold on, because I I think I almost I'm still looking for the snake picture, bro. <laughs> Damn, man, there's a bunch of fucking jokers that I missed. God damn, bro, there's so many fucking pictures, G. Look at this shit. So I'm 6'4. Look at this shit. And people's addicts, bro. This is deep into that motherfucker. All right. 
a bro. Like, imagine, uh, imagine uh, trying to concentrate at 140 bro. degrees, no bro, air moving, no I nothing. It's that fucking time, bro. When I did cable, that shit was like every other house at the very least. And that shit, it got to a point where it was every house because they were like, listen, we need y'all to do like pre- preventative maintenance where not only do we want you to check for the problem that the customer called for, but we want you to check every single thing to figure out if there's a way if we could just replace it immediately. And it was just like, bro, you know how many addicts we're going to have to go into? And it was just like, yo, bro, one of the addicts I went into, I busted somebody's water pipe, bro, and flooded somebody's house. Oh, wow. My nigga, over $100,000 in damages. Which is crazy. I should do a live stream in front of their house. <laughs> For real, like let me let me tell you something, bro. Cause I I broke a sprinkler pipe. Yeah. The yeah. Right when I was going into the attic, my my I had my I had broken my capitate on my on my on my hand. Yeah. So I had a brace on. It was the day before they put a cast on, and then I went up into the attic like that. And my hand slipped, and I just tapped the pipe. Poof. Boom. And it had a weak. It had a weak uh, fitting. And that bitch just bursted. <sighs> bro, I turned my body around and that shit was hitting me in my shoulder, dog. Damn. This is my bad, sh- this is my bad shoulder right here, right? So, nigga, that shit was hitting me hard, dog. That, like, imagine like 70 PSI of water just hitting. Bam, 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 bam. Spraying you right in that fucking piece. So, nigga, I come down that attic as a townhouse. So, I had to climb down, go downstairs, go to the side of the building and break the chain. Of the of the knob to shut the thing off. Guess what, bro? They wanted to take me to jail because I did that. Because I shut it off. Because really? in a multi multi home uh townhouse, and they wanted to take me to jail. What they want you to do? Just let it flood. Yep. What? And I was like, hell no. Nah. I go because you ha- who has to pay for this is my boss now. Yeah, facts. And there's no way, bro. I, if I would have never shut that water off, the, my dad, my boss had to pay like a, a good three hundred thousand dollars in damage. Damn. I I turned that three hundred thousand dollars in damage to sixty thousand. So my boss was like, "Bro, thank you. I'll pay for your lawyer fees, bro." Damn. And, uh, yeah. I was able to get away with it pretty easy. Shit, it's better than paying out three hundred thousand in damages, though. And it was all because of my certifications. If I didn't have all those certifications where I understand PSI, where I understand all that shit, I would have been fucked. If I would have just been a regular smojo just working for an AC company. So that's why it's important, bro. Like whatever you do in life, if you there's a way to get certified in it, do it. That's wow. Florida humidity is like 110 all the time. Pretty much, Jeff. Damn, bro, don't say that because the summer's right around the corner, bro. Shit, bro. It's cold outside. When I went to go get my UV light, bro, it was pretty nippy, bro. Yeah, it, was, it was a little free, though, today. But that summer's this is, the corner, bro, and that shit's going to be hectic. For all you homeowners out there, I advise you guys to go buy a shop vac. I don't care where you live. You want to prevent an AC company to come to your house? Own a shop vac. This is the shit that these are houses that we service every six months. Look at that shit. That's algae buildup. If that shit builds up in your drain, it's like a clogged artery. It won't let the water flow through and it'll create damage. Jesus. To the AC unit. That's where you end up growing like mold and shit like that. The AC unit in Jules house is in an, in a closet or in the garage? In the garage. Are oh, you lucky? <laughs> You lucky, bro. Yeah, dog. I see some nasty shit. Like, fuck, bro. I, I've I've dealt with. I like. I'm tired of doing AC work. To be honest with you, bro. Really? Yeah, I'm tired of it, dog. If I were, if I could start making a good good enough funds on YouTube, I will take a nine to five, a regular nine to five at like like at a supply store, supply house, or some shit like that. And just sit back, relax, make like $23 an hour, $24 an hour, just sit back, chilling. But um, for right now, I can't afford that, dog. I, I make good bread, bro. I make a commission and plus my salary, my my hourly rate. 
So like it's it's kind of hard to take that cut back, but shit, I'm gonna have to, bro. My body's beat. I can feel it. Damn. When I the summertime, boy, that shit's no fucking joke. And then plus it's dangerous, bro. You're dealing with like high voltage and shit like that. Look at this shit I gotta deal with. I'm just looking at it right now. There's an electrical panel right yeah, here. I wish, I wish I had my other hard drive, bro. So uh one of my boys caught uh me hooking two lines in when there was no uh no ground wire. Oh and my God. I, yo, you could just see the blue current just and yo, but boco. Yo, so here's another story. I don't know if I've ever told anybody this on YouTube, so uh, this was definitely an exclusive. So while I was working with uh, the cable company, um, you know, I was a pretty good technician and I made it up to like special teams and shit like that. And one of the teams was called preventative maintenance. So we used to go out and look for damages and repair them before it ended up turning into service calls by a customer. So we're yeah. not technically dealing with inside the house. We're going to the front where the pet is on the floor. Mm -hmm. And going from ped to ped to ped, looking to see if the line that connects the two peds is damaged. Uh, and there would be times that we would find it. And unfortunately, when we find it, we'd have to dig it up in order to to splice it and replace it. So they would team us up in teams. And at this particular time, I was the one that was set to uh, dig. So I'm digging for, mm -hmm. for, for one of the lines. So we're looking for. And finally, I find it. It's, yo, it's pretty deep. So uh, I told my boy, because the hole was so deep, my coworker just throw me down the splice tool and I'll splice it because technically I should have got out the hole and he should have got into splice it. Bro, so he throws me down the splicer and I'm I'm doing like this, bro. Like, so in order to really cut it, because it's pause, it's pretty thick. You've got to clamp onto it and keep doing like this for it to uh -huh. eventually break. And I must have did that like four times, bro. Like real, like with like strength. And the supervisor's like, "Yo," and I look up, and he's like, "Yo, come on up, uh, come up out of there. Let me let me ask you something. Let me talk to you." When I go out of there, bro, come to find out, motherfuckers ain't even dig deep enough. The line that I was cutting into was the electricity. That nigga, bro. He, oh, bro, listen, listen, bro. He told oh me because when he looked down, I had already cut into the electricity thing. He said at any point in time, I could have just burst into flames. That the electricity current going through there is so strong that there would have been no surviving. It, it literally would have been me bursting into flames in the hole. Bro. So in Florida, it's common for a house to come from the the transformer up up on the pole because depending on the area that you live in <laughs> depending on the area that you live in you there's 440 440 volts goes into goes into the clock outside so do you guys have fpl or uh, lce out there up here yeah what's the difference Florida Power and Light, you have LCE. There's, I know there's two different companies out here in Florida. I think it's Florida Power and Light. Like, all right. So they have their clocks transformed the 440 into 240. So the shit that's running on the ground, if that wire is like about that thick. Yeah. Boy, you talking about, and that shit's aluminum? That shit's no fucking joke, my nigga. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have been high at first. It didn't like really hit me. And then, you know, the next day when I got to the hub and shit, like motherfuckers is acting like, like motherfuckers was seeing a ghost. It was like, yo, like I heard, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And so that car right there is from 110. So imagine getting struck by that. Yeah. Nigga, I saw stars when I got hit with that shit, boy. That shit's no fucking joke. That shit was crazy. Bro, so I just want to show you guys this. I This is my backyard, pretty much. Like, this is like two, like five minutes away from my house. All right? This is called Marco Island. If yeah. you guys Google it, it's fucking paradise. Yes, yeah, so people always clown me. I know you put it on your live one day that you put it on my Instagram. You put it on my Instagram. Did I? You showed my Instagram, yeah, and then you you show me with the black gloves, and everybody was roasting me like, "Yo, what's up with tops of the black gloves?" 
bro alexander i've thought about driving trucks bro but like the money the money's at where where you drive across the country like yeah me i i can't have that shit bro even that's risky bro because uh during the time that i was cool with my boy and we was doing sneaker con uh um vending um his brother was starting a uh a trucking company and i remember listening to some of the things that they were going through and that shit ain't easy either bro you don't even understand bro my cousin's a car hauler he caught he he's a he he hauls cars right from yeah. buffalo new york down here to florida damn and bro homie's out for a week g can you imagine how many times the milkman be passing by the crib my nigga shit you need hey. some more milk girl yeah <laughs> You start questioning your kids and shit. You start looking at them and being like, something's up, man. They really right. dark and I'm really light. Zaya, so if you ever want to eat uh, or drink coffee, this is the best coffee to drink from Starbucks when you're on the keto because it has good, it has fats in it. So it's basically a venti iced coffee, four pumps of sugar-free um I don't know what the fuck that is. Sweetener? Uh, no, it's uh, sugar-free. The um, I think it's like cinnamon. I don't know what the fuck. My wife knows the name of that shit. Like, going to Starbucks for me is like speaking French and shit. Sure. Um, two pumps of vanilla. Uh, no classic with heavy whipped cream. Bro, that shit tastes weird at first, but it's busting, though. It's, it tastes good. So that's a good keto drink right there. Today. Jules like Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks is just expensive, dog. Like it is, bro. It is. <laughs> St- Starbucks is just all right. So if everybody knows where I got the name Tops from, your boy used to be a DJ back in the days. So when he, when yeah, I was I here, for real? Yeah, so uh, here. Uh, that's my boy Oscar right there. But yeah, your boy was a DJ boy, back in the days. On them fucking ones and twos, goddamn. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's where the name Tops came from, is DJ Tops. So that's why on my tattoo here is an eighth note. And it says Tops across it. So there's life hacks for Starbucks. <laughs> Bro, so the reason why I stopped going to Starbucks is I used to grab a small cup and pour that bitch in there without the ice, and you had a small drink on a fucking venti, bro. So I was like, oh, these motherfuckers just straight up scamming. You want to talk about scamming? Them motherfuckers be scamming. Shit. Look, my fucking backyard, G. This is literally like three minutes away from me. Look at this shit. Fucking live in paradise, G. There's one thing that once I move out of here, that's one thing I'm going to miss is this shit right here. Damn, that's just nice, bro. It's beautiful, dog. Naples is fucking beautiful, dog. If you guys Google Naples, Naples, Florida, it's fucking just gorgeous, but it's just straight for fucking old people, retired old people. There's nothing to fucking do. All right, remember I was talking to you about the drive-by and shit? Yeah. So I got shot by, I find out in the hospital, but here's where I got, I I got shot by 22. So you see that mark right there? Mm. Right on the bone too. Damn. The bitch never went through. The bullet hit me and it bounced right out. I was a jit. I was 13 years old. That's wild. Scarred there for life. That's what happens when you live in the projects, dog. That's why your boy didn't want to get the fuck out of Miami, bro. A lot of fuckery goes down there for no goddamn reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I needed to get out of there, dog. It's just, it's just bullshit. Fucking, just Florida in general, dog. You just gotta be careful, because I know Orlando sees. You guys see some fucking crazy shit out there too, as well. I'll be man, watching the news right there. You, man, I, I love Orlando, bro. In all honesty, like, it's probably one of the best decisions I ever made in my life to move to move to Orlando. What 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 kind of made you move out there? 
Uh, at the time, I was married, and I had went to the military. And by the time I came home, she was living here. I knew she. Would be, I knew she would be living here when I when I came out. Though, like I, I helped her to move down here. It's funny, yo. Peep this. Peep, peep how funny this is. So the reason that I live in Orlando is because I went to the military, and then when I was coming home, my wife at the time was living in Orlando, Florida. Why was she living in Orlando, Florida? Because Jules' sister is her best friend, or at the time they were best friends, and Jules' sister had moved out here. Jules' sister, Jules' mom, Jules' whole family had moved out here. And uh, uh, when I went to the military, she figured at least she might as well just be with her friend and shit. So she moved down here to be closer to Jules' sister. Yeah, hell yeah, Henry. I be asking for light ice, but sometimes they be tripping, though. At Starbucks, and they be giving you mad ice. I hate that. Yeah. So Zaya told told Jules, I'll, I'll I'll hit her up on the DMs. Pause. You know, I I gotta pause on that because you know you guys are married and shit. But so this is a uh a keto fucking uh, pancakes right here. Oh, shit. pancake mix, fire. They taste pretty good actually. Birch. So yeah, if she if she makes them right, then you're you should be good. And keto pancakes. I'm not too heavy on pancakes. I, I'm a more waffle type of guy. All right, here we go. I found a snake picture. Uh, hold on, I'm grab this beer. Yeah, you good, bro? Look at that fucker right there, boy. Oof. Bro, yeah, Henry, bro, that Miami's fucking nuts, G. And then I move over here to this side of town, and then I got to deal with shit like this. You know what I'm saying? I got to deal with Holy shit. Like this. That, that, and he's small. He's small. But, bro, these are the best snakes to have around, bro. You won't have rat problems or nothing, bro. These are right. called black razors. Damn, bro, I haven't drank in like two weeks, and you could tell because them beers right now are hitting, bro. I feel like I'm hammered. And unfortunately, I've got the appetite of someone that smoked. So it's like. Oh, that's what happens when you. Be a rough morning, man. It's gonna be a rough morning, bro. <laughs> you know, that's why I drink candy dog. Like to me, you know what? Let me finish this motherfucking bottle, man. I appreciate everybody that's been donating and shit like that. Like, real talk. Like, make them earn them donations, man. Make them drink, man. <laughs> no, we good, bro. Y'all don't have to, though. But whatever. You know, every 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 time I get paid on YouTube, it goes back. You feel me? Yeah. It goes, it goes back, bro. Um, so like Final Cut Pro, I can buy like plugins for Final Cut Pro. You use Final Cut Pro, right, Zaya? Yeah. Just to let you guys know, Final Cut Pro is a three hundred dollar editing program. Back. You know what I'm saying? So like, and people get be getting them shits for free. Well, guess what? They don't have a lot of shit that the program brings, and it doesn't do updates. Back. So every time there's an update, there's something new that goes into the software. But there's websites out there that you can buy like plugins for it, like transitions and shit. And I got my eye on like a few transitions, bro. And I'm going to spend like my next YouTube check looks like it's going to come pretty nice. And I think I'm just going to throw the whole entire money into that to like transition and shit. I'm telling you, boy, like Tony D better watch out, bro. And Bull RC, bro. <laughs> They're gonna be wanting to be my friends. They're gonna, you know how I be hitting them up in the DMs like, "Yo, what's up, man? Let me get a shout out." You know, they're gonna be calling me for a shout out now. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oi, diablo loco. 
Oh. Maldita vaina. Pero ¿qué es lo que te pasa a ti, loco? Shit. Oh, oh, Kuliki Taka. It's motherfucking Saturday. Them beers. Bro, I, them beers hitting. This handy hitting, boy. Hey, bro, you see my eyes. My eyes, man, low. My eyes been low for a minute now. See, I don't know if anybody knows, dog, but your boy Top's got a Bentley truck, my nigga. I, I don't like to be stu- I don't like to be stunned out here in this YouTube street, but since I'm on that handy tonight, I just might as well show you guys, bro. See, I got that powder blue. You know what I'm saying? You see me with them concours. That's actually a week early before release date, right there. Looking clean. Christmas, Christmas party. You know, your boy got them true religion jeans on. Mm. Polo T. Concours. My dog Hugh. He Gucci'd out. A kind. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Your boy got that Bentley truck, but then I had to return it the next day because that bitch was rented. Fuck it. Fuck it. You only live once, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. It's funny how you can make a live about, like, with pictures and shit. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. So you ever heard of this conspiracy talk about Chuck E. Cheese's pizza? What? No. No? Nah? No. So, you know, Chuck E. Cheese pizza be busting, right? Yeah, it be busting. That do be busting. Yeah, they be fucking busting. Like, my kids tear up that fucking macaroni and cheese pizza, dog. That should be like, be, that should be straight fire. What you know they pizza? fucking, you, you know, they recycle that bitch? Recycle what, though? The, the, the pizza, nigga. Like, let's say you leave and you leave like four f- pieces of pizza. They put that in the next So piece. their employees grab those four or five pieces that you left and put it into another four or five pieces they got to complete a pie. So if you look at a pizza from Chuck E. Cheese, it never looks it's, the same. it's never a perfect circle. You know what I'm saying? Like how you get it from like Domino's, Pizza Hut. You know what I'm saying? So if we were to go on Google... Actually, you know what? I think I have a picture here. You know what? It's a lot faster if I Google it. All right. So if we go on Google, you put Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Chuck E. Damn, you put up Chuck E. Cheese and it says Chuck E. Cheese insists it doesn't recycle pizza. Nah, nigga. They recycle the fuck out of that shit. And that should be straight up facts. Cause I have a picture on my phone of a of a picture of a family picture, and we look at the pizza. You zoom in, that's just fucking deformed as fuck. Damn, they wilding for doing that shit. Technically, that pizza was already paid for. Yeah, <laughs> look at this shit, bro. <laughs> oh shit! Hold on. Oh my god, I like the and it's serious, dog. If you guys ever go to uh. Yeah, that's what I was look, looking at. <laughs> Duh. Look at all that shit. This is people taking pictures there at Chuck E. Cheese, dog. And the the good thing about it that the pizza is busting there, dog. Like, so you just standing around, like that shit. You just stand around to see what the outcome is, but you still fucking with the pizza. Yeah, that shit fire though. Fuck, as long as they heat it up and all them germs are killed, I'm Gucci. Oh, now we're ready for the fuck shit. Who want that smoke? Uh oh. <laughs> Take it easy, Tops. Take it easy. That that nigga's gonna be saying that I was putting you up to it and shit, and that they gotta clap you. Yeah, for real. <laughs> nah, I didn't show no pictures, and that, bro, that's just crazy, though. My that mother be blaming me very. Yeah, it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? Just move forward, huh? That's all. I, that's all I gotta fucking say. <laughs> now we got 34 people in this bitch still. It's three o'clock in the morning. For real, bro. You got a nigga ready to pass the fuck out. Top's doing that freeze challenge. I guess I was frozen.
Bro, who knows, Alexander, what the hell they're doing with the fucking pizza? They fucking around, bro. Probably coughing on the pizza. <laughs> Shout out to that nail blade. That nigga said, <laughs> take a shot. Take a shot for them Higgers with attitudes. H-I-A, H-I-A, Higgers with attitudes. Hmm. I'm going to tell you what my boys used to tell me, like, because I, I, I was raised in a black neighborhood, right? So, um, well, I was raised in Hialeah, so there's more Latinos and shit like that there. But we also had, like, a very strong uh, black community in there, especially in the projects where I grew up at. So when I moved, when I moved out of there, I moved to Carroll City which is more populated with like more blacks in there. Right. Yeah. So when I first moved there, I, you know, I was selling a little bit of weed and shit like that. And then, um, I remember, uh, this guy, Roger, he used to tell me, he's like, yo, yeah, you know, they didn't call me tops or anything. They call me by my real name or poppy. They call me poppy. Yo, poppy, let me get that good creepy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, All right, bet. So I was like, I was like, yo, my nigga, look, you know what I'm saying? I'll give you 25. Just shoot me the 15 tomorrow. Give me the 10 and shoot me the 15 tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Friday. All right, bet. Then nigga comes back the next day to give me the 15. He goes, yo, you know what I'm going to call you, bro? I'm going to call you Split Nigga. I'm like, what? What? Sp-, he goes, like, yeah, I thought about that shit last night, cuz. I'm going to call you Split Nigga. I'm like, what the fuck? Split Nigga? He's like, yeah, just think about it. So that nigga comes back. Uh, I think it was like it was Friday. He came and paid me the money. So he comes back Tuesday to get. He some left you with that thought all the way uh, to Tuesday. Yeah. So he comes back. And this nigga was weird as fuck, but he was cool, right? He was funny as fuck. You missing teeth and shit. Cool ass nigga though. That nigga's like, "Yo, did you think about what I told you?" I'm like, "Split nigga, bro." I, like I couldn't say. I was talking to my other homeboys and shit like that, and I was like, "Yo, this nigga came out of nowhere and started calling me split nigga." <laughs> He's like, yeah, dog, you a Spanish Latin nigga, dog. Uh, I was like, what? He's like, yeah, you split uh, nigga. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about, man? I was like, whatever, dog. So he, ever since then, then, homie, every time I go back to Miami and I go and I bump into him and shit, he's like, what's good, split nigga? <laughs> Damn. I was like, damn, that's dope. So I guess we should run with that in these YouTube streets. We just split niggas. We just split niggas. Cause Yo, you know, I, 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 I don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. But them beers is hitting, bro. <laughs> bro, them ultras. That that's the only beer that I can drink. Shit, it's nice. That's just better than the Bud Lights, than fucking all that shit. Like to me, like American beer. That's one of the best American beers out there. God damn, yeah. that shit. Got I. Me. I I usually don't drink beer because they make me piss like a fucking Russian racehorse, dog. But like, you know, I'm I'm starting to feel I just want to mention throw this shit out real quick, dog. So yeah, Splanega, that's the way to spell it. Splanega with attitude. Splanegas with <laughs> attitude. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I, yeah, that's what's up, Tops. I spent <laughs> I spent my first f- five years in my life in Opalaka. Damn, dog. So a lot of people see this is the thing though. Like a lot of people um in in Miami that lived in Opalaka. Opalaka didn't have a high school. So Opal the people that live in Opalaka, Opalaka is a heavy set uh uh black community, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of black people live there, so they went to a high school called Hialeah Miami Lakes. Right, which is HML, yeah. bro, and that's and that was, this is where the point I was getting to. That school was so fucking divided that because of where I lived at in Miami, that school was was the school that I was supposed to attend to to get my area code. And my dad was like, "Hell no!" So I, where my dad lived at, right, because I was living with my old girl when my my parents were divorced. Where my dad lived at, there was another school that was a little bit better. It was called Barbara Goldman. I don't know if it, this brings any. Uh... Yeah, I had two aunts that graduated from HML. <laughs> so, um, plus the baseball coach there was trash. So I was happy my dad was like, yo, go to Barbara Goldman until we're able to finalize everything at that private school that I was supposedly supposed to start attending, right? So 
Bro, that school HML is so divided. So you had like the American people. Yeah. The black people. And you had the Spanish people. But then the Spanish people, you had your Cubans. And then you had like the Mexican, the Ecuadorians, the Colombians. Like everybody. The Dominicans, it was all like all scattered. So like lunchtime, it was just like a multiple group of people. Like, And bro, just fights will break out of nowhere. Dog, that shit was crazy, dog. And what's going on on YouTube today, that shit, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah. Like, shit like that. Like, like shit was being divided at one point. Uh, from what I hear, it's not like that anymore. Because I think eventually, I think Opalaka got transferred over to, like, Carroll City High School and shit like that. Tops, I lived around 6th Avenue. Bro, the Zoe, Zoe Pound area. Oh, my God, bro. Look, let me tell you something about them Zoes, bro. Them Zoes out there did not give a fuck about nobody. Yeah, How How is Orlando with Haitians? Is there a lot? Is there a lot of Haitians in Orlando? Uh, that's not really. Because there's a lot of Haitians here where I live at. There's a lot. And they they cool as fuck. Cool, the coolest people ever. I like Haitian. Shout out to my Zoes, bro. But the Zoe Pound in Miami, they're no fucking joke. There's documentaries about them niggas out there in, my, <laughs> in the internet. Yikes. Uh, I guess you can look them up on YouTube and shit like that. Look up Zoe Pound, 3OP, uh, shit, the Alapata Boys. Bro, Miami has some crazy ass fucking history. That's why I had to get the fuck up out of there, bro, because it is crazy, dog. Like, I'm talking about niggas getting shot up for no goddamn reason. Uh, shit, that why you think they do first 48 in that motherfucker, bro? Shit. So that Miami's fucking no joke, dog. Like, real talk, that shit is no fucking joke. Yeah, I'm looking at Back that. Now, nah, this shit crazy. What? Just uh, some of the shit that they describe. Um, well, for like the Zoe Pound and shit like yeah. that. So they used to have this bike club called uh, the Zoo Crew down in Miami. And I, I know them since I was a little kid, dog. So if you look up Zoo Crew, you see it's like a bunch of bike videos and shit like that. Like niggas doing wheelies and shit like that. All right. Those guys used to run, used to ride those bikes with like AK strapped around their back in Damn. Miami, passing by police and shit. And the cops wouldn't do anything. Like crazy, bro. Like the like the gangs in Miami and stuff like that is freaking no joke, dog. Like Miami's scary, bro. Miami's scary at night. When I go out there, I make sure I'm fucking strapped to the dick. Fucking clips of the ass. <laughs> See, when I go to Orlando, I just take my gun just with the clips that's in there, and I, I'm Gucci. Like here, I I barely use it. But fuck, when I go to Miami, dog, I take like four or five clips full. Jeez. Like, yeah, like my wife is like, "Yo, you brought the backpack." I like, "Yup, you got yours." She's like, "Yup." <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> and and at that point, you still don't feel safe, bro. So, all right, so I was on call one weekend, and my wife goes to Miami for a baby shower, right? So she's at a park called Amelia Earhart, and that's where the baby shower is at. Yeah. So, dog, bright daylight, they break into her car, and they take all the baby shit. My daughter's, like, about a year old, and they took all her baby shit. And bright daylight, dog, in the parking lot. Nobody saw nothing. Straight savage. So, like, yeah, straight savage, bro. Like, if you look up houses in Miami, bro, every window is caged. Has a cage in it. And motherfuckers still find a way to fucking break that shit. Break to get it that motherfucker. <laughs> Just to steal a motherfucker's TV, bro. Bro, there's nothing, there's, nothing, there's nothing worse than a fucking relentless crackhead. Bonnie and Clyde. Damn right. Shit, yeah. Shout out to my wife, bro. She's a fucking soldier, man. I love, I love my wife, bro. Uh, you know, I, I, I felt like I made the right decision marrying her, even though she could be a pain in the ass. 
But still, dog, like the way she holds your boy down, she'll fight a nigga for me, dog. Let's put it like that. Yeah, shout out to the homie, Mister Fuck You All Up on the donation, man. I appreciate you, bro. Oh, he hit you up. Yeah. Damn, boy, that's good, man. Shit, bro. But I know you ready to get off, Zaya, huh? You ready to go night night? Yeah, them fucking ultras hit, bro. Like y- your boy, <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Yo, I, I haven't drank beer in like two weeks, bro. Although I thought I was on keto, I really wasn't because I was fucking up in a few places that we got to fix. Wait. I haven't drank no beer. And besides them shots, them shots, but it, bro, let, let me tell you something. Motherfuckers be killing me with the shots, all right? Them shots yeah, start right, right. your boy going night night, which is probably right. a good thing because I stay up. I'm I'm a night owl. I'm up all night. And at least the drinking puts me to sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some real good sleep tonight. Shit, Jules Ben fell asleep. She left her phone here. I thought I'm gonna catch her somewhere in a hallway or something, just laying on the floor. <laughs> is the boys up still up too as well? Nah, them, they, like Saturdays, bro. Like Saturdays. This shit be kind of crazy. Motherfuckers be passing out everywhere. So technically, Jules' youngest son is passed out on the couch. And then Jules' oldest son is passed out in the room of the other son. Jules be passed out somewhere on another couch because Jules has like double living rooms and shit. Yeah. So pass out in the other living room. So right now, I'll just make my rounds and just start nudging people and be like, yo, Jules especially. Jules is the one that gets really tight if I like leave her on the sofa. Yeah, 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 dog. That should be hurting my neck and shit. Sleeping, yeah, that's why, that's why. Yeah, with the boys, they're young, bro. They like that shit ain't gonna really fuck with them like that. Yeah, man. So yeah, bro. I appreciate everybody fucking pulling up, man. I really do, dog. I appreciate Facts. all the fucking donations too, as well, man. Facts. Um. Uh, shit. I might sound like Zaya, bro, but y'all could have been somewhere else, but y'all were here fucking rocking with us tonight. Nah, r- real shit, bro. Nah. In all honesty, like that's like a line that. You know, I'll never be out here talking about, no, nah, I said that. You can't say that. Nah, bro. In all honesty, all content creators should be thanking people for being over here because in all honesty, like people that are watching, they really could have been doing anything else. You know what I'm saying? People have lives. They could be doing something else. So when they come through and they support you and they watch you, then you got to show that love. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. Um, Shit, Zaya, make sure you tell everybody to stay up and stay fresh, bro. Yeah, facts. Stay up, stay fresh. Shout out to all my split niggas out there. And all my higgers <laughs> as well. And uh, your boy's already good, man, as far as, like, going live. So tomorrow we'll be back to the regularly scheduled program. You know what I'm saying? I'll be going live. So definitely check out the new channel, man. Cool, man. And always I, I want to spread a message out there for everybody that that only listens to one person. Uh, please open up your mind, your ears to other shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, don't make a decision to be somewhere. Be free, bro. Don't let nobody tell you what to do and shit like that, bro. Facts. Remember, you're your own fucking person. Facts. Who gives a fuck if this person got to say something about you? It is it is what it fucking is, bro. Like, real talk. Like, I, I, this is not handy tops. I'm just talking facts, bro. And just don't let nobody tell you what to fucking do, dog. At the end right. of the day, you pay your own bills. And and let if the next man is gonna talk shit about you, fuck them, bro. Because at the end of the day, if they talking shit about you, is because you doing something, you doing something good. You know what I'm saying? So, salute to everybody. I appreciate you guys pulling up, man. As always, I'm glad to see a lot of people that pulled up here. Um, like I said, man, stay tuned to the channel. Let's help Zaya get to that one thousand. That four hundred, that four thousand watch hours, so he could be monetized and shit like that. Cause, you know, th- damn, the homie got his fucking bread cut off. You know, at the end of the day, it's bread. You know what I mean? Regardless if this is your your job, hey, hey, YouTube. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't want nobody to feel bad for me because I definitely was pushing. So I, you know, I ended up getting hit. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate everybody that supports me and everybody that comes through and chops it up and and all the people that donate. Man, I really do appreciate y'all. So you know what I mean? Like. It just means that I got to work harder to get the channel back to where it needs to be. You know what I'm saying? I, I oh, knew that that's part of that's part of me nudging and fighting the fight and trying to entertain like that, you know, but I don't put that blame on nobody else other than myself. 
See, and a, and a real man does that. And that, let me, t I'm going to tell y'all guys something. And I'm going to tell you guys, and for other people that are watching and they're not typing or anything like that, I don't like to call them ghost watchers. I just like to tell them the people that are just viewing and not typing for whatever reason. Hey, back from work. What's up? I'm Gucci. Shout out to I'm Gucci, bro. I appreciate that, bro. But let me tell you guys something. When Zaya's wrong about something, that nigga admits that shit. And that's one thing that I notice about him as a person. And I'm not saying that because he's on my screen right now and because I fuck with him and shit like that. Pause. But that nigga admits when he does wrong. And you, you guys should see that shit. You feel me? Not because of anything, dog. Like, at least he admits it. A lot of people do admit, it, admit when they're wrong, you know? And that's the most important part, dog. When you admit when you're wrong and... They like they caught themselves saying some shit and they like they fix it all up. And, you know, at the end of the day, at least they fixed it and they acknowledged that they said something that it wasn't that it wasn't true or whatever the case is. And they fix it. That's that guy. You know what I mean? And I noticed that about Zaya, dog, you know, regardless of what it is, you know, it is what it is. I like what he says. I'm responsible for what I say, not for what you hear. Facts. And bro, and that makes fucking a lot of sense. So just you know, just put it together, bro. Let's be like human beings and adults, and just think about it, bro. Not because of anything. I just I'm just saying that because it's just I don't know that a lot of shit that's going on out here is fucking retarded. So yeah, facts. It is what it is. So and man, I appreciate everybody, man. Jay Hernandez, man, the homie. Y'all go check him out, bro. Check out Jay Hernandez. He's up becoming YouTuber too, as well, bro. He does good work out there. Positive dude. You know what I mean? What's up? Hell yeah. Hell no. Nah. Hey, nah, man. Somebody clapped him by mistake last time, bro. That was by mistake. He didn't even write anything, bro. So shit. <laughs> Shout out to Retro813, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. So y'all fucking the low Q, low Q, high Q crew. <laughs> Whatever, man. I fuck with a lot of people out there, man. I, and you know, on Skinny's chat, I fuck with a lot of them. They fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what's being said out there, they still fuck with me. So shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? They they day ones. I do, they know I do do whatever for them too as well. And um, you know, shout out to everybody, man. They rocks with me, bro. And they still stuck with me, whatever the case is, bro. But you know, at the end of the day, man, it's all for entertainment. Yeah, facts. just take it like that, you know. So fuck God. Uh, That's yeah. fucked up. That's fucked up, my nigga. Like real talk, like. I don't know that. It's just, just fucking weird. The Maverick is in the building. That's the homie right there, too. Hell yeah. I'm in love. See, they don't give that motherfucking shit. He be in everybody's chat, minding his business, saying, you know, speaking his mind. And that's the way it should be. You know what I mean? Of course. Yeah. And it should always be like that. As far as like telling people where they could go and who they could support. And like, bro, you can't do that, bro. Like, <laughs> You could do it, but, you know, it, it don't really make no sense. Like, you know, you're a content creator. You're on here. You're trying to develop yourself as a brand to present to people, you know, as their form of entertainment. You can't tell them who they can't and can go support or see or psh, you can't do that, bro. Like as a content creator, like at least in my opinion, as a content creator, you need to stay in your place and you need to create content. That's going to make those people happy enough to support you, bro. Like you don't have no right to tell people who they can and cannot watch. It, that shit just never made sense to me. Yeah. So that that's the only thing, bro. Don't be scared uh, to type in. See, I, I type in in certain chats when when it's not the fuck shit, because at the end of the day, I'm a content creator. You know what I'm saying? I. I my my the name tops world i'm trying to create that as a brand you know what i'm saying i represent myself yeah and facts. people that don't they don't like that because they think that i'm affiliated with like certain people or whatever at the end of the day i'm not affiliated with nobody i'm a, my own brand i invest in myself facts. i go into debt for myself there's months that i go into debt just so i can produce content bro because I'm producing it myself. I believe in myself. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what it is. And I said, and I pass that on to you guys. If you guys are trying to start a business and you working for a motherfucker, bro, stop it, bro. My, my goal is to try to stop to work for that other person and work or, for or, at, or at least attempt to try to transition. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, yeah. if you can wake up on time and hustle and bustle 
to a place of employment that is not yours. You don't own the company. You can't give your kids a job, nothing. If you can go over there and give them 10 hours solid, then at the least you could do is when you get home, give yourself two hours. You know what I'm saying? Fuck video games. Fuck a movie. Fuck. Try to figure something out, bro. Something that you can develop on your own that's yours, that you can call your own. So when I wake up in the morning, I kind of feel like shit because my wife takes care of everything in the morning, right? So I'm going to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of privacy over here, but not too much. I'm just going to give you guys like a little like a little brief of what goes on in my house in the morning. So I wake up around 6.45, 6.30, and what I do is I go on to social media and I start responding back to the people who took the time to write on my videos. Thanks. Or on a picture on Instagram, they took the time. So my job is to take the time to find that time to respond back. Yes, back. So, so that's what I do in my morning time. So it, it takes me about an hour to do all that, right? Depending if I drop a video the, uh, the day before or a couple of days before, like you know the the way the the video is going, if it's doing numbers for me. I get a lot of comments. So I, I try to write back to each and every one person because they took the time to write and to say something, even if it's negative or positive. You know, I try to reply back, you know, uh, uh, what's going on. Uh, emails for my job. You know, I get a lot of emails from customers, then a lot of shit that needs to be taken care of. So I'll show up to late to work five minutes late and I'll post a start at eight. I'll show up to work five minutes late and my boss can't tell me anything because he knows I told him. I told him straight up. I'm like, hey, this is what I do in my morning. My morning routine is this. And if there's no work, if I'm if if I stop working at 12 o'clock, I come home and I'm trying to figure out what's my next move on this YouTube streets because I want it to work out for me. So I suggest anybody that's trying to do their own business or anything like that, just be straightforward forward to the company that you work for and they have to understand. You know what I'm saying? They can't fire you for that. It's against the law because you're tr trying to start your own shit. Just do it the right way. Don't steal from the company that you work for. Don't, okay. you know, keep your hands as clean as possible and and just move forward, bro. And just remember, whatever you do for yourself is for you and your family. And so your kids could be straight when they get to your age. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have to go through the trouble that you went through. And that's my goal right now. My goal is to try to make money to support my family so they don't go through the trouble that I'm going through right now to get to the point where I want to get to. So that's why you see me ignoring all the fuck shit and all that stuff. You know what I mean? But I, j I just encourage you guys to do the same, man. And everybody that's trying to buy a house, trying to buy this, trying to buy a car, trying to improve their family. Keep going. I'm proud of Jay Hernandez. He just bought a crib. You know what I mean? He stopped buying sneakers, this and that. Sometimes crib. you gotta do that though. Like you're not missing nothing. You you're gonna be able to get the sneakers later, bro. Like focus on the things that are like important, like getting a house and shit like that. Like at least to me, that's that's some of the important stuff, man. The only reason I don't buy a house now is because I don't want to live here where I live at now. My yeah, plan was not it, to it, stay it, here. In case it makes sense. You want to wait to get to the the spot that you really want to be in. You know what I'm saying? Before you purchase the house, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So if I if I tell you guys what I pay in rent, you guys will kick my ass and be like, yo, really? But like, whatever, it is what it is. I wanted a three bedroom, a kid, a room for my kids and uh, big enough for both of them to stay in because they can't sleep apart. They need to be sleeping together. They got their own beds, but they got they want to sleep together because they're sisters. And so I figure I was like, oh, I'll get a third bedroom so I can have my own space to do my own thing because this is what I'm dedicating my extra time too so i i putting our work doing youtube is a lot of work dog even going up live trying to figure out what you're going to talk about trying to you know it's not easy bro when i go up here and i don't have shit to talk about bro i feel like shit i feel like the live is not as as uh active as other people's lives like so i look at lives like yours uh you know rob and all those people they have their ways to do it and i i feel like i can't achieve that my things are videos yeah. You know what I mean? So I salute you guys that do the fucking lives, podcasts, and all that shit. I salute you guys because it's not easy either to try to come up with shit to keep people from staying clicked on. 
So yeah. that's why I always try to have a, a person in with me because it's a conversation between them. Me trying to read a, a comment, there's a pause always. Yeah, facts. And when there's a pause on a live, you can see there's a dead spot on it. So when you see our videos and we're editing, we edit a lot of dead yeah, spots. Yeah, you edit like, a lot of that dead space out. You know, because imagine you're like, yo, hey, man, it's your boy, Tops. Um, back at it again. Leather. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of dead spots in those videos. So I can make the video took me 30 minutes to record and I turned it into 11. You know what I mean? So we just took out a shitload of dead spots. But yeah, it is what it is, man. I'm going to get Zay out before he falls asleep. He looks like that, that mic is about to hit him in the head. Yo, for real. But yo, that ultra got me fucked up right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But I, yo, I'll be live in the morning time, man. Straight real shit, man. Really, bro? Uh, I'm gonna try to when I wake up. Yeah, my live's already approved on the on the channel. Hmm. So Make I, sure you you log in to the streamyard that's to that account. Yeah. Don't forget about that shit too. No, it doesn't. It doesn't let you. What streamyard? Yeah, no streamyard. That's another. That's another reason why I knew something was wrong. Streamyard doesn't allow me to log into anything because streamyard was hooked into the other, uh, to the to the channel that I had. Now, mm -hmm. when you go to StreamYard, it tells you so you can log in with your email address. You've logged into the platform. But once you go to click that you want to start a stream, it immediately told me that YouTube doesn't that StreamYard or something to the effect of that. And YouTube don't don't um, support or don't acknowledge that channel as a channel. So I had to re uh, I had to drop it out and start putting the information for the new one. So. Uh, and then when I did that, uh, you got to actually apply for it with YouTube. So I applied for it. It took, it was supposed to take 24 hours. It took a little over 24 hours, which I'm not too, too concerned. You know, I know you too busy. So, uh, but I came back, I tested it right before I went to Jules's sister's baby shower. I tested it. I went live. Um, it was on private though, and it worked. Everything worked perfectly fine for the new channel. So shit tomorrow, we'll be right back at it. So you're just going to use the regular uh, live stream from YouTube or you're going to use your OBS? No. So the thing is, I've always I've always not been too fond of OBS. Uh, I did try and I tested it today. And for some odd reason, it doesn't give me no picture. I'm not sure why. Um, I know that Mars is figuring out a w figuring out a way for me to do uh, stream labs through the Mac, because technically stream labs doesn't work with the Mac Work Mac. No, it doesn't. I tried. He said that he figured out a way. So I'm going to see what he figures out and then I'll let you know on it. Uh, we got and, another donation. Scenario, yeah. Worst case scenario. If not, then I'll just stick to the stream yard. No big deal. All right, cool. Because I know in the stream yard, I added both of my accounts. So I have another an HVAC channel. Yeah. And I have StreamYard there, but I don't want to go up live to talk about fucking AC. Though. That's just boring as fuck. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, when I was learning that shit, I was fucking falling asleep. I learned that I learned AC hands on, bro. That's the best way. Um, but all right, y'all. I appreciate you guys putting up, man. Danielle Blake, man. Thank you for the two dollars, man. Y'all making me very fucking rich, bro. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hey, I'll make sure, bro. Trust me, all these motherfuckers that have been supporting, I got a list of people that I'll definitely be fucking hooking you guys up if your boy ever blows up, bro. Or it gets to the to the point where I can. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm thinking about giving away a trip to Tijuana. Fucking what? <laughs> yeah, bro. Tijuana. To get go see them UA pairs getting made and shit, you know get what I mean? The fuck out of here, bro. Tops, you giving away trips, bro? Bro, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send Beto to China with like a double layer fucking gas mask and shit, so he doesn't get the coronavirus. I got y'all guys, bro. Alexander, I'm gonna get him a pair of off white. That's wild. From Goat, not Stock X. Shout out to Goat, man. Goat, Goat should sponsor your boy, man. But hey, man, stay up, stay fresh, like your boy Zaya says, man. And do you, and don't fucking listen to nobody else, bro. Just All right, y'all. We love y'all, man. Peace. I love y'all. Catch y'all tomorrow, man.